Okay, here we go. Let's see what see what we have in store for the game today. I'm just calling them back right now. They've just been deciding their team names. How you been? Good. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Here they come back. And if I appear to be rocking, it's because my dog wants to play tug of war with her rope. Because <laughs> I was going, hmm, rock and roll. <laughs> yeah. So I always wonder what happens if you don't hit the I got it to the meeting <laughs> being recorded and you just let it sit there. You get ejected. Is, is there a timeout? Is there a timeout? Hey, Vince. Here's what? your line. No, I'm not going to say it tonight. <laughs> you're not going to say what? <laughs> yeah, no. What is it you're going to not we were waiting say? for you. <laughs> were you? Am I that predictable? Yeah, we were. Wow. No, you're not that predictable. would be amazing. I'm Three amazed. or four of us were waiting for you. <laughs> I don't amazed. know what you're talking about. So. Yeah. I, I Are we know. being recorded, Vincent? No. I no, no, think no, no, no. we are. You'd have to ask Susan that. Thank you. I, I, I just had to remember. Have, yeah. <laughs> well, that's ready. You're right. Yeah, it's your big oh. chance, you know, do your opera or whatever. Hey, Faith, your mic's on. I just muted her. Um, I'm going to make, uh, Kyle's going to handle our power, special powers tonight. Mm. That's the All power. Right. Super oh, power. Got the power tonight. So yeah, how's the ultimate power? Kyle will be oh, doing the show tonight. He can, he can mute us and all that stuff. Susie, are you, on a, are you on a phone by any chance, Susie? I am. Okay. Gail, uh, Cindy, are you also on the phone? I'm on uh, my iPad. Okay. Some of the controls, some of the controls for Zoom are a little odd on iPads and phones. That's why I'm asking. So if you, so if, especially iPads, iPhones yeah. work fine on Zoom. Yeah. Well, can you see chat? Okay. Like, you, excuse me. Cindy, can you see chat? You think is there a button for chat? You tap it upper. Yeah, upper right. I can see um, which upper camera. Upper. Upper right yeah. screen, you tap it and, and it'll give you the more. Yeah. Icon. Yeah. Chat. Karen yeah. just left you a message in chat. Do you see it? Yeah, I see it now. Okay, good. You're going to be getting the reason why I'm asking is because all the questions that we're going to be asking in the next few minutes for the game are going to appear in chat. So if you're hearing, if you don't get it, you know, whenever they're reading it, it'll be in the chat. And then when you get into your room, um, well, Terry, I don't know if she wants to take a picture because she's using her phone. Well, that's, well I guess she can um, take a picture with her phone. That's a screenshot. That's because you'll screenshot. lose. Screen grab, yeah. Yeah. We'll that was the problem last week because I couldn't keep up with the questions because it was like, what? <laughs> so Susie's room and Cindy's room, you might want to use a screen. Somebody in your room might want to do a screenshot so they can see the pictures, the 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 screen, you know, with the words on it. I think I'll change to my MacBook. It's easier for, for people. Okay, good. Okay, so we're going to get started. We're going to start off with uh, knowing what creative names you guys came up for us this week. So we've got um, Gail, Bob, Janine, and Vincent in room one. So what is your guys' name tonight? Uh, it is... Hey, Clarence Thomas. Do we get to keep Loving versus Virginia? Oh. <laughs> Put it in the chat. <laughs> oh, I have to put it in chat. Oh, shit. I don't spell. I can do it. Oh, the answer it. is I yes. Forgot. I got it. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Cool. Please, you know. Okay. I sort of know what I'm doing. Sort of. Cool. Hey, are we recording? <laughs> We're recording. Yeah. Oh, jeez. You guys are not going to live. let me live it down, are you? Well, well we've got video after video. Susan, yes. are 
so I heard that we are recording. Is that so true? Yeah, I think so. There okay. you go. Hey, I said Chris it. Thomas, do we get to keep loving versus Virginia? Okay. Is that's everybody good. happy? That's, if that's Vincent doesn't ask, they can't depose us. <laughs> Room number two. <laughs> Carl, Larry, Rob, Susie, and Terry, what's your name tonight? The team that I'm adding the next person to. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, they come up with these clever names because they want me to say them out loud. All right. Jamie, Kevin, Kyle, Mike, and Wendy. We are the scam busters. There you go, scam busters. <clears throat> oh, here comes Kevin again. I wonder where he was. Yeah, because my computer is going to go down at ten o'clock. Your computer so go goes to... down. Do you have like child lock huh? on it or Did something? You, uh, it's a com it's a company a computer, and my IT company does something at ten o'clock on Thursday. Uh, <laughs> Susan, so. I am um, joining with my Zoom, my uh, MacBook. Okay, that's fine. Let me in. Let me in. There she goes. Ski <laughs> Kelly, fifty three. Recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the drugs are kicking in. <laughs> the drugs are kicking in. <laughs> That's the drugs Cindy kicking. That is funny. Okay. So Cindy, Deborah, yeah. Jane, Karen, Peggy, and Robin, what's your team tonight? Oh. Six Monterey Bay bodacious babes. <laughs> Ooh. I guess I can't add to your team because then that'd be seven. Yeah, if you you will be late. the sixth when you come in though, because Robin, oh yeah. oh that's right. There's only five of you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, six. Oh, well, I trade with Robin, so yeah, you'll make mm -hmm. six. Oh, that's that's really sweet. We'll have to take a selfie together. I thought we only have three people in our team. No, we, only have, well, we have four. But four, if you count four. yourself. But there's somebody, but there's somebody that's going to be doing the questions. So we'll have. To then I'm on your team. Oh, you have me. Uh, you guys forget about forward me. Forward Maybe oh, he's so just not counting you for some reason. So Ben, Faith, that's Romero, Leonard, and Alan. This is us on our best behavior. <laughs> <laughs> Faith, do you know that I have you down Very for good. a bonus round tonight, Callback. right? Uh, Renami, please. Yep. My bonus round is ready to go. <laughs> no problem there. Okay, so here's where I get to start. All right, here we are in game 118, season three, episode nine. Tonight, we have five teams competing for the battle of the game 118. <laughs> <laughs> On on today, July 28th, in the year of our Lord-ish 2022, or 2020, no, 2022. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys love that. All right, so the teams that are playing against each other for a competition against each other to see who can battle it out to be the baddest badass of game 118 on this day in July. And we have, hey, Clarence Thomas, do we get to keep loving versus Virginia? versus the team that I'm adding the next person to, versus Scam Busters, versus Six Monterey Bay Bodacious Babes, versus This Is Us on Our Best Behavior. Who, who, people are wondering all over the world right now who are watching this live. Well, you won't be watching it live. You're watching it on YouTube years later and to the future. Hi, people of the future. Hello, everybody wants to say hello to people. Say hello to everybody in the future. Thank you. Hi, everybody in the future. Hi, everybody in the future. We're dying to know who it is who's going to win tonight, the night where we will have things happen. Who's got Carl? <laughs> somebody on Scambusters. What can I tell you? <laughs> can, can somebody besides me that's on Scambusters um, copy our questions down? Sure, I can handle that. Yay. Thank Do we you. just there we go? Okay. So I see well, you guys keep moving around. I'm looking at you, then you're moved to another spot. So stay still, knock it off. Okay, so the way this is going to yeah. work is we're going to have five categories, four of them regular and one of them bonus. A different person plays on each, uh, is going to take turns reading their questions that they have created. I do not know what the categories are at all. I have no clue. So I will play as the teammate. Here comes Jane. 
I will play as the teammate for whatever team is doing the rounds. It'll make sense in a minute. We'll take an <laughs> official break after the second round and here we go so we have up tonight is gail followed by rod followed by jamie followed by robin followed by faith so gail you are keep moving around at me where did you go there she is you're over in the corner now okay so i'm making you co-host hi karen i don't know if i said hello earlier okay here we go gail's up Okay, are we and ready? Rob, you're in charge of muting us after she gives us the, the category. I'm in charge, okay. what? No, I didn't say Rob, I said Kyle. Did no, I? pretty pretty much, said, nope. Did I? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, you did. Uh. <laughs> okay, are we ready to start? Give okay, us the category. First category tonight is going to be Sherlock Holmes. <gasps> all right. Ooh, you're going to love having all. me on your team. Gail, you're you're muted, Gail. Gail. Hello, Gail. Okay. I knew I had to just get to it. All right. We're going to start with the multiple choice. Um, and let me put them in as I'm saying them so you can follow along if you wish. You don't have to bother about the multiple choice. Just give us the hard rough ones because that way your team will have the best. <laughs> I got them. which it, well, I have them in order, so I have okay. to do it in that order now. Which of the following is true about his writings? A, Sherlock often indicated his opinion by saying, elementary, my dear Watson. B, the first novel where he appeared was Hound of the Bastervilles. Doyle said, C, Doyle said that the character was inspired by his professor, Dr. Joseph Bell. Or D, Doyle set his stories in his native London where he was born and educated. Okay, question two. Let me put it in the chat. Question two is shorter. What is the famous address where Holmes lived? Question three is also a short one. Who was Holmes' nemesis? Just the name is what we're looking for there. Four, another multiple choice bigger question. Oops, hold on, nemesis, do not get the there. There we go. Okay. Which of the following is true? A. Doyle made Holmes memorable by giving him a distinctive deerstalker hat and curved pipe. B, since Doyle himself often used cocaine, he wrote about Holmes using it to direct his thoughts in many of his stories. C, like Holmes, Doyle had no aversion to women and never had an aversion to women and never married. Or D, Doyle was a world traveler and athlete, boxing, before he be, before becoming a medical doctor. Okay. Question five. We have several true and false, and this will be one of them. This is true or false. The first Holmes novel, A Study in Scarlet, was wildly popular. And from then on, Toyle had to continue to write stories featuring Holmes, even though he really wanted to practice medicine and not write. Okay, number six. This is another true or false. Remember on true or false, if it's partly true and partly false, it's false, right? True or false, Doyle killed Holmes because he wanted to end the series, but his fans were furious and he finally was pressured to respond and wrote a novel that he claimed was written about a case that Holmes had solved before he died. Question seven. Hmm. 
another short one, who narrates the stories? Question eight is another multiple choice. Doyle wrote four novels and how many, in addition, this is an in addition to the four novels, how many short stories that were starring Holmes? A, 12, B, 26, C, 45, or D, 56? Number nine, another true and false. Guinness lists Holmes as the most portrayed literary human character in film and TV with more than 45 actors playing the part in over 250 productions. 45 or 75? I'm sorry, 75. Did I say 45? It's 75. Okay, number 10. This is another true or false. Holmes had an enduring influence on forensics. For example, he used fingerprints in his stories long before they were adopted by either Scotland Yard or the US, various political people, uh, various. Okay, and there is a bonus. Later in life, Doyle became obsessed with promulgating what idea that is actually quite surprising given his scientific training and his most famous character. That's it. Are there any questions? Somebody finally uh, wrote a category that, that was geared to Susan. There you go. Good job, Kim. Finally, a category that I'm not, I, my team won't do badly on, right? Exactly. Okay. Well, I decided well, to mess we'll... with them and give them the wrong. No, I'm like kidding. Okay, so we're all going to go to our rooms now. Kyle, do you want to take care of that or Gail? I sure. got it. Okay, let's see. Jane, you are in four. I got to figure out where this is on my MacBook. Oh. <sighs> Oh, I have to join. I ha it hasn't shown up yet because you left. So you are in room two. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Kevin, 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 Kevin. Three. One, two, three. Oh, yep. good. Okay. okay. I got these. What do you want? Anything you don't know, I'll tell you. Okay. okay. Go ahead, just rattle off the answers. Okay, the number one is three is C, Dr. C. Joseph Bell. He was actually, because, yeah. Number two is um, B, Baker, something, bum, 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 B, Baker, so put, I can't think of the number at the moment. Bake, yeah. Oh, yeah. 221 B, Baker Street. 221 B. 221 B. Mm -hmm. Baker Street. I remember the Baker Street. Yeah, okay. Holmes's nemesis was uh, Professor Moriarty, James, Professor James Moriarty. Don't ask me to spell it. M-O-R-I-A-R-T-Y. Uh -huh. Professor, Professor James Moriarty, which is the following is true, is D. Wait. Uh... You sure it's not C? Yeah, I'm sure. Doyle okay. was married. He had two wives. Had sons and was, yeah. Uh, Stunning scar of Wally Parker, the head of continuing write stories featuring him. They really would. Okay, number five. I know too much about the history 
that I kind of not sure, but I'll let Kevin in. So yes, that's mostly true, but it is slightly not true. So I, I didn't, I'm glad there's a bonus question on here because he did want to be a doctor, but he kind of also liked, how do I say this? I guess. Remember, I said, I gave everybody the hint. If it's partly true and partly false, it's false. Okay, let's see. So if he didn't mind. Writing he did want to practice medicine, but then there was more money in it. He wanted to write other things and he did write some other things. So yeah. I guess. Okay, let's move on. Um, okay, that's six is false because he went on to write stories called um, The Empty House, but they were they were not about a case that Holmes had solved before he died. Um, this is Watson, uh, John, yeah. Dr. John Watson. Oh. And, yeah, who narrates the stories. And um, four novels, four I'm not sure stories. It's either 45 or 56. I think it's probably closer to 56, but I'm not 100% on that because I've never counted them. You just listen to them or read them. You don't really count them. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm leaning toward 45. Okay. I'm, I'm fine be. with whatever. Okay. Again, he lists home as the most portrayed literary. No, don't. Yes, I'm sure that's true. And 10, yes, that's true. He used, he used fingerprints and tobacco ash and I don't know if it was long before they were adopted by Scotland Yard, but it was probably before. But he did have an enduring influence on forensics. In fact, in real life, he was trying to, he solved a few mysteries of um, real, real cases using those. I thought and, it was a Mark, there was a Mark Twain story where they. Yeah, that's called uh, uh, Puddinghead Wilson. God, that was. Puddinghead good. Wilson, yeah, that's. Yeah, that's and one of my favorite books with fingerprints. Uh, one of my favorite books of all times. It just happened to have fingerprints. So, but do you think um, Doyle did it first, though? Um, well, it just, no, it didn't have to be before him. It just says that. Let me see. Oh, okay. And, and it's yeah, spiritualism. Okay, yeah, no, that's bonus. the way it's, yeah. Okay, so yeah, no, the that's. Bonus that and the bonus and the bones. But also the Coddington fairies. Well, that was spiritualism. He believed in fairies. And so, yeah, I would say after, spiritualism. So yeah, he did. Spiritualism's he, more all encompassing. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. Yeah, spiritualism. True. True, yeah. I don't, and, you know, going back to the one that, how many novels, how many short stories? I, I think it's actually 56. You think it's a big one? Yeah, okay. because there is a lot, hours and hours. Yeah. I just I just re-listened to. Um, there's four four um, audio books you can buy. Boom, 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 boom. They have all the short stories and the novels in them, and it it went on for a long time. So I think it's the bigger number. I, and, I, go ahead. Sorry. Five is one. I'm just. I. Six, I'm, I seem to, to think that he did, he, before he brought him back to life, he, there was a, a novel in there that, um, you know, was a previous. Oh, yeah, case. so that's true. Number six is true. Is yeah. that how you remember it, Vincent? Yes. No, and there was a trivia question earlier on. And yeah, that is true. You, the people were so furious. Well, I know that. Yeah. They I were remember furious. that. No, yeah. yeah. The question is, what's the what? Yeah. What did he before he brought him back to life in the the story? I forget what the story was where he he pops out and the Rodenbach Falls. He fall the where he takes up Moriarty it, and they fall all over the fall. Yeah, well, that's where he dies. But then there's there was a story where he came back and surprises Watson. Yeah, but that's but called I, that is called the empty house. So I when I, I just listened to the books on tape and it is Moriarty he dies 
and then the next book is the empty house where he comes back but i don't know so there if wasn't the audio books like that and there was another story in the middle that is not, i thought that yeah i, thought I, I don't know of another story in the middle i don't know what order i seem to remember that there was a, there was such an outcry people were yelling so to placate them he did this you know a was it was it Baskervilles that he came back with? No, or? no, 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 no. Okay. The, the story, like I said, I've I've listened to them all just very recently, like in the last week. But they are not. I don't know. I thought they were published where he dies, the long span of nothing, and then here comes he comes back with the empty house. I, yeah, and I and I don't know, but I'm, oh. I just there's something I. I don't know. Maybe I was, it's me. I don't know. So maybe, I, maybe it is. I just have this gut feeling that it, there's something that sounds right where he he gave him a, a story that had already happened and. Well, he did do he, stories. Well, he never really did a lot of stories before his death. Actually, I don't. I don't so think there's anything narrated from a point of John Watson saying, "Here's the story of John of of Holmes before." before he died no i don't think there's anything like that if there, was, if there is i don't know of the order yeah that's that's the thing I, but i know that the I, fans were pissed he did write I, that's what yeah. that's what that's what's confusing me is on five is that he did write books that were not sherlock holmes related he had a pulitzer yeah. he had a, a boxer and he had some other stuff um and so he did continue to write <laughs> And I think he went into becoming, yeah, he went into medicine, but I think that there wasn't the money in it. So he wanted to continue to write. He just didn't want to write home stuff. Well, so that I would guess. make it true, right? So Even Biden though he true? really wanted to practice medicine, right? So number five is true. Yes, no. The studies are as widely popular and from then on had to continue to write stories featuring homes. I guess it's, I think it's true. True. Okay. I think okay. so. But I, there's an argument, like I said, there's an argument to be made that he wanted to, he wanted to write, right. but there's more money in writing. I think it's true. I mean, we, we got, we got hey, medicine, money, is, sure. medicine is gross. <laughs> well, it's mis especially in the 1800s. Oh yeah. Well, he did go into the war of. Um, he was in the army, and I think he went back into the war when he was an older man to practice medicine. Well, interesting. The son about was killed in it, right? World War One. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's interesting about number two, two twenty one B Baker Street? My apartment. Right. My apartment is two twenty one. Oh. You know right. on Baker Street. Not on Baker not Street, no, but in my first number. Yeah. Okay, so we don't have we haven't agreed on eight yet. On eight. 45 or 56. I would yeah. think it's even more, actually. Stories? Well, it's gonna be it's gotta be one of those. One so, of them is well be short very... stories. This is short yeah. stories. So yeah. he might have had medium and long stories. And at what point do you cut no. off? between medium the, and short they were either the they were more novellas they were yeah they were novellas rather than novels so she's saying there's four long form stories and then everything else i think would be considered a short story and you know what i don't like any of them except uh helm to the basketball i can't stand study in scarlet and i can't stand um well it was his first thing yeah but the other ones too the long ones i I just don't like it. The one about the Mormons and oh, that I, was studying in Scarlet. Was that the Mormon? Miss, yes, yes, Miss. Wasn't there one Miss called Sherlock Holmes? Expert. Well, because I never listened to them. I just don't like them. I think they're awful. The um, mm. was it? What was the other one? The Valley of Fear. Was that what it was? That was part. That was of, Mormons. That was part of Study in Scarlet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What were the four That's books? Right. Okay, there was Bohemian, the um, the Hound of Baskervilles, which I loved. <coughs> And yeah, the other ones I just skip every time they start to play them. What was the one with the guy who had, oh, the sign of four. 
Sign of the Four, yeah. That one makes me so mad. I, I just, that one makes me just, I can't stand listening to it. I can't stand that the, that they killed people. No. no. Yeah, but it's really creepy. Oh, yeah. Like little guy it climbing up the gutter. And, uh, yeah. yeah, it was, oh, it was gruesome. Well, no, was, what made me mad is how the four guys ended up, um, they wanted to take the jewels from that, from that, uh, sultan or whatever and the mm -hmm. guy the sultan's the sultan's um aide was carrying the jewels and they killed him and it, to me it's like how do you do that how do you know because the guy's like well mm -hmm. i had to kill him or i i had to help kill him or they were going to kill me so it was fine i i i guess if no i they were living in a prison i think or something i can't remember yeah. i didn't yeah. like that one i just the violence bothers me a lot killing somebody over jewels no um and i think that yeah i think that's probably number 10 is how did you get everybody done okay six what are we are we sticking with false for, are we sticking with false for the very end okay wait what one of you at a time are we, are we sticking with false for six Because Vincent and I have this inkling that he did release something. Well, I'm only a guest here, so you guys get to make the final decisions. Gail, what, what did you what say? Is, what, it, Gail? what do other people think? Yeah. Okay. What do you think I, about everybody else? Uh oh, there's going to be a glitch. Well, we got a minute. She we got a minute. The, we, she oh. closed the rooms while she was in here. Okay. That's right. Gail, did you think that there's everybody's kind of. Gail, there? Yeah, I looked through all the rooms and everybody was either finished wanna, or almost finished. What do you, I want to settle this. I'll, I'll, stick uh, with false? I'll stick with false. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. Ask Janine. She's right there now. What did we do on eight? Eight. D. D. 45 or 56? 56, D. 56. 56. I never counted them, so I'm not. I just feel like it's the bigger number, but it could There's be a bunch of them. It could be 45. I just. Well, thanks, Susan. You just kept it. But when they yeah, soak them with blood, they're red. So that's when they weren't, <laughs> they weren't lying anymore. So interesting to come walk into a conversation, yeah. pop in, and there's people talking about bloody socks. Okay, yeah. Gail, great category. Susan? Apparently, recordings. Thanks for the answer. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks for recording. There we go. Now okay. we got it. Okay. <laughs> Thank so you, Vincent. Thanks, it's Vincent. Nice to know things are back to normal. <laughs> yes. I will, what I will do is I will read the answers and then I'll put them all in chat in a list. Okay. Is that all right cool. with everyone? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. There is mud. So, number one, which of the following is true about his writings? Um, he did not often indicate his opinion. In fact, he never said elementary, my dear Watson. The movies and other things did it. Yeah. Yeah. His well, first question... novel was not Hound of the Baskervilles. We'll talk about that one later. He said the character was inspired by his professor, Dr. Joseph Bell. Yes, that is true. Yes. That oh. is the answer. And yes. the story Please. did not happen in his native London. He was actually Scottish. He's from Edinburgh. 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 Ed
That's right. Um, I thought that would be too hard, so I just made it in. Oh, me? <laughs> you would have known that, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, which of the following is true? He made by memorable by giving him the deer starker hat and carved pipe. No, he didn't do that. It's never in the writings. It was done in the, by the illustrator and then taken up by all the others. So A is not true. B, since Doyle himself used cocaine, he wrote about home. I, no, it wasn't in many of his stories. It was only in two where he mentioned the cocaine. See, like Holmes, Doyle had an aversion to women and never married. And as Susan mentioned, because I heard her in the group, he was married, uh, in fact, twice, and had children. Uh, D, Doyle was a world traveler and athlete. He was a boxer before becoming a medical doctor. That is true. The answer for four is D. Okay, five, so true and false. The first Holmes novel, A Study in Starlet, that was the first novel. However, I gave you the hint. If it's partly true and partly false, it's false, right? It was A Study in Starlet, but it was not popular at all. And from then on, he had to continue to write stories. His later stories became increasingly popular. So he did have to do that. Uh, but he didn't really want to practice medicine, yes, but he wanted to write. He just didn't want to write that kind of story. He wanted to write medieval stories that he thought were better fiction and were, were more prestigious. He did it for the money. So that, so number five is false. There are three false things in that statement. That was, we were really back and forth on that one. Because some things in the statement are true. That's why I gave yeah. that can I ask you about the previous one about that? Did, did, home, did he ever get uh, Doyle known for using cocaine at all? Or is no, that totally He's a medical doctor. He prescribed he, it. He, Look up the 7% solution. Our, uh, Doyle did use cocaine. But in the, yeah, that was my question. Only, okay. the, the stories they were not used. It. it was only used twice. <laughs> it was only mentioned twice in any of the stories. And it was, yeah, I was asking about disparagingly Doyle. because uh, um, uh, uh, Dr. Watson objected very much to it. He appears using cocaine a lot in the movies and stories, which right. is why people believe that. There's a lot of things that was done to the character later that people believe, like the, the quote, the most famous quote that he never said. Okay, yeah. six, true or false? When Doyle kills Holmes because he wanted to end the series, that part is true. But the fans were furious. That part is true. He finally was pressured to respond and write a novel that he claimed was written about a case that Holmes had solved before he died. That is also true. He did not want to bring the character back to life. And he tried to say, and the, the, the particular book was uh, The Hound of the Baskervilles. And he was claimed that the way I... he was able to do that was because it was, it was an old story that- Ooh. All right, I stand corrected. You guys it's, it's only you want what they pressured into bringing home oh. back to life though. That's why you- I didn't, I didn't remember the order of that, but it, in the series, usually when you're listening to the books, it ends with his death at Reitenbach Falls. And it's then the next story is always the, the um, empty room. That's because the next one wasn't a story, it was a book. So six was And the book was Hound of the Baskervilles. And when he, he agreed to write it, because he wanted sure. the money and he wrote the book and the book was published but he said he was still dead that the story what he said was that he's still dead but the story was written about a case he had solved before he died okay but he had yeah. to take it back. clarify it's true thank you yes, it's true six is true seven six is true you, you never i will you never i will put all of them in when i'm when we're done i'll put the whole, the whole list in the chat who you narrates the hard. stories? I think everyone got that one. It's Dr. Watson who narrates the stories. Yeah. He only Watson. wrote four novels, but he did write the 56 short stories. That was oh, there you go. There you go. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Good got, call, Leonard. <laughs> Number nine, it's true or false? Guinness Liz Holmes is the most portrayed <coughs> literary human character in film and TV with more than 75 actors playing the part in over 250 productions. That is true. And these were not, some people were talking about it being school productions. These were commercial productions. More than 75 car actors play, have played Holmes <coughs> so far. Still oh. counting. 10, to or false? And that'll be the uh, bonus mono rules. 
Name the actress. <laughs> yeah. the actress no. No. I actually, I actually thought about doing that, <laughs> but I couldn't find a list of all fifty five. <laughs> True or false? Oh. Holmes has an enduring influence on forensics. For example, he used fingerprints in his stories long before they were adapted by the Scotland Yard or the U.S. That is true. Oh, no. For, he, 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 he actually credited um, with starting the science of forensic in police work. Carl's going to fact, object to that. It started in Paris. The very first forensic lab, which is the way I wrote the question originally, was in Paris. And that was done based on Holmes, and he said he was doing it based on Holmes. And it yeah, I don't want to shock their... you. Rob's going to object. <laughs> oh, no, I said sure. Carl was going to object. He was oh. pretty sure about this. We're Hold, absolutely on. Sure. Hold on. <laughs> Gail says, and that's it. By the way, Carl's a ringer on this. He's got every one of those 56 stories on the shelf behind him. All right. I got, a, I got, a, I got one that you left out, Gail. What yeah. uh, popular band is named after a Sherlock Holmes movie? Well, see, I don't know Bam, so I didn't know that. <laughs> and they, they, they wrote the theme song to a Brian Cranston show. That they might be giants. Oh, uh, that, yeah. it was originally the name of a Sherlock Holmes movie. Can you repeat the question? You what popular band you. was named after a Sherlock Holmes Can movie? Can you repeat the question? You're not the boss of me now. Oh, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> that's well, Holmes song. used a fingerprint to solve a crime two years after Malcolm Scotland Yard's fingerprint bureau opened. Well, yeah, but the story was written before. <laughs> and if that if that is correct, then somebody has to correct Wikipedia because that's where I got that number from. And that Wikipedia well, that's never that been done was, before. It was a long <laughs> time afterwards that they did that. And and the bonus and the bonus category. The bonus says uh, Holmes was obsessed with what idea, and the answer I had was spiritualism. Many of you said the, the uh, coddling fairies, which was his spiritual thing. So yeah. I think you should accept that also. I don't think so. The right. fairies aren't spiritual. That's the, they're, they're, like, they're, like, they're, like, they're, they're, they're not religious. religious. They're like he was leprechauns. obsessed with the fairies and believed them. Yeah, and yeah I but they're not spiritual. spiritual. Two different answers. I don't want them to have the point. <laughs> I answered. Well, he, he when was, I heard he, people he, saying that, I thought I should have made it clearer that it wasn't the fairies. Yeah, he was into a whole bunch of oh, yeah. weird things. Yeah. yeah. So was, there, it, spiritualism is actually a religion. Yeah. You believe yeah. that. And part of sure. it was the Cottingly fairies. And that was where he got into the dispute with um, uh, the American. The, Houdini. Uh, Houdini. With Houdini. Uh, <coughs> over, oh, it was over the fairies. But the point was he became an avid spiritualist and went around. Well, he also got into the dispute over Houdini spiritual. about the spiritualism. That was a big thing. With yeah, Houdini. it was both. With yeah. All right. Yeah. Great category. I love it. Thank you, Gail. Okay, Thank you, Gail. So, that was very good. So this is us on our best behavior points. Um, nine. It doesn't sound too convinced. Well, it depends upon what we're going with for the actual answer to the fingerprinting. Aren't we first? Yeah, I'll make an official ruling. The we're fingerprinting go with that is correct. The fingerprinting was not adopted. According to Wikipedia, it was not adopted by Scott Wikipedia Yard article you're looking many at many years afterwards. But Wikipedia is not a primary source. So if Carl okay, found Gail, primary Carl, source, Carl what's was the answer? You get to pick Gail, were you what's accepting the, the fairies for the bonus? Yes. Then we got nine. Okay. So ten, if you will, if we can just true, speak. right, Gail? Don't, didn't I put them in the in the chat? Yeah, yeah but people are not okay. reading. Put us down for nine. They're all in there. Ten is true. All right. So six so Monterey Bay bodacious babes. Would you get ten? Scambusters. Five. Uh, mm. Wow. The team that I'm adding the next person to. Oh, Ten. that's us. <clears throat> Ten. <laughs> Why are you complaining? Maybe no, not just, then. Because huh? we just we're interested in the truth, not the same. Oh. Oh. The truth. Yeah. Hey, Clarence Thomas, do we get to keep loving versus Virginia? Nine. Nine. Yeah. Huh. All right. You thought oh. I was answering. Oh, that. 
I want to point out that everybody's favorite favorite Italian, Mazzabo Polidorio, has written the book called Houdini and Conan Doyle, Final Sands, The Strange Friendship Between Houdini and Conan Doyle. I've read this a bunch of times. Oh. So this is an amazing book made up of the letters, Mazzabo Polidorio from our community, Skeptic Community, who you will see at PsyCon, PsyCon in Vegas this October. And I will be interviewing in a few weeks. Uh, Mazmo. So this book here is amazing. It's it's the letters between the two and the relationship of Conan Doyle and Houdini. Um, For people who don't like to read and just want to watch TV shows, there was this TV show that lasted one season, Houdini and Doyle. I don't know how accurate it was, no, but no, it was no. really cool. And then <laughs> see, look at how it's lovingly adjusted, uh, autographed to me by um, Mazmo. One of my favorite people. Nicest guy in the world. Go to Vegas just to see him. All right, here we go. <laughs> Mazimo, Mazimo is great. He's one of my two favorite Mazimos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's so much nicer than the other one. Well, I don't uh, know I like that well. one too. The other one talks about philosophy all the time. Yeah. It's yeah. great. How boring. No, they're, they're, they're both wonderful in different ways. Yes. If you I say so. enjoy hearing both of them speak. Mm -hmm. I, uh, oh, I much prefer Mazimo Polidoro because of its Italian accent. Oh, oh yeah, accent. Yeah. I love Italian accents. About the his, Italian is, accent. his, his is magnificent. He's so adorable. All right, so Robert Palmer. All right, so you have to understand that I created this one, you know, thinking, Susan never puts me on the same team as Carl and I was trying to sink Carl and now he's on my team, so this is bad. <laughs> Um, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to come up with something that Carl doesn't know anything about. So this is Rob's resume. Just answer the questions. Someone else did this before, like all the jobs they've worked. So there you go. That was me. Mike. Sure totally stole my Mike. idea. Yeah, I did. Here. It's been a whole year. So. <laughs> Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Thank ago. you. Okay. Question number one. Um, and writing all these. Oh, Everybody got to mute us all. Who's muting? Oh, one second. There it is. You're muted, Rob. Thank you. I'm. Um, I'm. Re I wrote these all in third person, so when you read so them, so the to go first them, answer is uh, mine. Uh, what? Mm, question one. This was Rob's first paying job. According to Wikipedia, it is a temporary activity for teenagers who are not yet eligible for employment in the general economy. It emerged as a social role for teenagers in the 1920s and became especially important in suburban America in the 50s and 60s. It stimulated an outpouring of folk culture in the form of urban legends, pulp novels, and even horror films. That was kind of a give me. It should be anyway. Question number two. These are all sequential order of my employment, by the way. Rob worked at this company for six years during high school and early college, eventually becoming an assistant manager there. It is an American multinational chain owned by Inspire Brands, which also, what are we showing? Yes. Who's showing the screen? Was calligraphy one of them? Probably I didn't. Mine. I didn't put that up. I don't know who did that. I'm going to start again. <laughs> I did. Rob worked at this company for six years during high school and early college, eventually becoming an assistant manager there. It is an American multinational chain owned by Inspire Brands, which also owns Arby's, Buffalo Wild Wings, Sonic Drive-In, and Mr. Donut, among other places. It was founded in 1945 and now has stores in over 50 countries. Question number three. This college is where Rob earned his professional degree, a BE in mechanical engineering. It was founded in 1847 and was the first free public institution of higher education in the United States. It is the oldest of CUNY's 25 institutions of higher learning and is considered its flagship college. Notable alumni include Jonas Salk, Henry Kissinger, Leonard Susskind, Mario Puzo, and Mishu Kaku, who's gone crazy and now promotes extraterrestrials. And Rob Palmer. <laughs> Question number four. 
This company gave Rob his start as a mechanical engineer, working at their satellite fabrication facilities in rural East Windsor, New Jersey, known as Astro Electronics and the Astro Space Center. Rob worked at that facility for over 16 years, starting as a summer job in the early 80s, designing and testing spacecraft. Name the company, better known for consumer electronics, it was originally spun off from another company in 1932 and reacquired by that very same company in 1986. Question five. In an odd coincidence, Rob's full-time starting salary in dollars for his first full-time professional job was fractions of a percent off the altitude above the equator in miles for spacecraft in geosynchronous orbit, many of which Rob helped design and test at that job. What is this altitude, plus or minus 10%? Question six. And that's in millimeters, right? <laughs> is that in Canadian? In miles, it says miles. Uh, number six. Regarding the company mentioned at the end of question four, they laid off a huge portion of the Astro space staff, including Rob in the early nineties, because they botched the Astro space takeover due to <laughs> bad management decisions by their high profile CEO. The sequential loss of three totally different spacecraft within a few months due to different design flaws, irreparably sullied the facility's reputation. One of these failures was Mars Observer, which cost $813 million. The company was founded in 1892, and in 2020, it ranked among the Fortune 500 as the 33rd largest firm in the US by gross revenue. Question seven. After leaving his spacecraft design job due to a layoff, Rob worked for Curtis Wright Flight Systems in Northern New Jersey. While there, he worked on a classified project involving a new stealth fighter jet. Name it. So number six would be name the company. That's correct. Would you accept redacted for seven? <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, I'll tell you a story later. It really was easy to find out information about it because um, there were already video games. It was video games of this around at the time. Like when the original very first thing that was a stealth plane, no one knew about it until it was in combat. In this one, there were video freaking games with this plane while we were designing. It was bizarre. Was it called Pac-Man? That's how you know it's fake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Number eight. The aerospace division of the company, which is the answer to six, included the Astro Space Center, where I worked. After their aerospace division was acquired by yet another company in 1993, Rob was hired back to work at Astro Space. One of this company's high profile products was a significant component of the space shuttle system, a flaw in which caused the destruction of shuttle Columbia upon re-entry in 2003. My company was to blame. Number nine. In 1994, a merger occurred between two of the largest aerospace companies of the time. One was the owner of Astro Space in New Jersey, where Rob worked, and the other was the Lockheed Corporation. Rob continued to work at Astro Space until laid off when it was closed because all the spacecraft design operations were transferred to the Heritage Lockheed facilities on the West Coast. Name the new combined company in, <laughs> in the 2019 Fortune 500 list of the largest United States corporation. It was ranked number 60 by total revenue. Number 10, Rob found other employment first in Valley Forge, Pennsylvania, and then in New Jersey. But in 2002, found himself hired back at a different division of the company from number nine, working at a different facility in South Jersey. That facility's primary mission is to upgrade the US Navy missile defense system referred to as the shield of the fleet. What is the official name of the system which protects the US Navy and allied ships, as well as some European shore targets from both conventional and ballistic missile attack? Hint, it could be a wordle answer. Uh. <laughs> that helps Susan a lot. No, I know that it's five letters. And um, bonus number one. 
I got two bonuses here. These are tough. In yeah. April 2020, Rob was working for yet another company, but still working on the same Defense Department project, the Shield of the Fleet. When the pandemic started, Rob quit his job, terminating his aerospace career just a bit earlier than planned. Although officially retired, Rob now gets sporadic income for very different work than he did his entire career. What organization signs his checks? And bonus number two. This job history may sound very chaotic, but it's not even the full story. Quite a few job changes have been left out. In almost 40 years working as an engineer, Rob worked at seven unique facilities for nine different corporations. Sometimes Rob left employment voluntarily, other times not so much. How many times did Rob get laid off in his career? Plus or minus one. Or fired or put in prison. We know about Robert Palmer in prison. Any questions? <laughs> Right from prison. What about oh, your music God. career? <clears throat> what about your music career with the girls' dance in the background? <laughs> How about your time in the roller derby? All right, I'm opening all rooms. <laughs> I don't have a I don't have a question, Rob, but uh, you gave me a hard time once for having the longest questions ever. I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to point out I, I lost but, that. But time. one thing, my answers will be shorter because I don't have multiple choice to explain each one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kelly, that's Kelly is Susie, right? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay, I, so. my my kitten walked across my keyboard and closed <laughs> everything. Sure, let's blame the kitty. You are in room two. That's where I'm going to. See, look. Oh, oh, oh cute. I'm fostering kittens. That's a small oh, that's right. one. Yeah, she's only uh, last eight. week. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to two. I never had a cat that young. A lot of these from. I know <clears throat> the first bonus. <laughs> He lost. Yeah. Him. I was way over my head. I don't know what he's talking about. I, okay. Newspaper delivery boy. That's what I thought. But then it's. Uh, nice. I think babysitting. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. There's Why? no horror stories about being a, a newspaper delivery boy. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, wait. Let me see. That makes sense. Book court. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. It does. It does. Yeah. I was thinking newspapers too. Yeah. Okay, do you think it's Dairy Queen for number two or what Baskin do you think? Robbins. Oh, that was my second guess. Rob, if, if you pay attention, uh, we had okay. a category in ice cream once. Well, you probably, you weren't playing yet. Yeah, I was You might remember, no. Susan, we had a category on ice cream flavors once and Rob mentioned that he worked at Baskin Robbins. Oh, That's and you awesome. remembered that. You uh -huh. felt so awful. I don't remember that. Okay, number three, is it MIT? And why Harvard? Oh, it's Harvard. You didn't go to sense. Harvard. Rob went to Harvard. I don't I, know. I don't know. I think those other guys did. I didn't think he did. I, I would think he would mention that a lot if he went to Harvard. Yeah. So one of the oldest of CN. Okay, so maybe not Harvard. What I don't know. I mean, what people who go to Harvard use find a way of inserting the word Harvard into questions. Yeah as much yeah. as anytime they possibly yeah, can. good point what about mit uh well what is cuny's 25 institution who's cuny isn't that uh um university of new york city, yeah, city new york. university of new york yeah it's buffalo isn't it oh that sounds familiar uh, I didn't know it. Okay, C U N Y. I think is Buffalo because it's almost across the street from the Center for Inquiry. Um, no, there's C U N Y. There's 25 institutions. Okay, right, there is they have one 25 campuses. Do they Which have one, one in Boston? Boston. Well, MIT's in Boston. Yeah, I know I, nothing about colleges, especially in the East Coast. Uh, um, but I know there is a CUNY Buffalo. Did so he mention that. Buffalo before? Um, I don't know. Well, okay. he so he's essentially saying it's the oldest college or university. But he's a New Jersey guy. Where would he have gone? You say the oldest? Kiss I thought NYU. Yeah, he's one of the oldest. It says it is it's the oldest of the, the oldest. Coonies. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Well, Not is it just? City College, then, of New York? 
university. I don't. Yeah, I don't think it's anything. Well, that's CUNY is City College of New York. It has twenty five camp institutions. The oldest one is the original one, which they're all named after, City University of New York. That oh. makes logical sense. I think I remember him saying he lived in New York for a while. Yeah. That's right next to Jersey, so it wouldn't right. be such a weird... So that's NYU, right? No. No, it's okay. a that's separate different. school. Okay. So it's C-U-N-Y New York, right? C. Um, that seems think, like a weird... Well, I think... I think it's not, but it's not called, wait a minute. I think it's just City College. Okay, so let's move on. Let's see how we come back to three. You know, Pencil and City College will come back. Four, okay. I think, is RCA. He's mentioned this before. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He did mention that. Full time, sorry, it's first percentile fraction. It's not the altitude. Of Five. I have no idea. That has math in it. There's no way I'm going to... 30,000? That's my can't, guess. Can't even look at the question without having the EDGDs. No, I, I just guessed, but I thought, I think, 30,000. RCA used um, to be in New Jersey, right across the Delaware Memorial Bridge. Oh, great. Oh. Yep. You got to see uh, the dog sitting on top of the building. <laughs> well, that would make sense. Uh, Geosynchronous oh. is like uh, 25 or 20, 20 to 25, somewhere in that range. Okay. Um, well, this would have been back in the 80s, though, right? Let's, uh, like when I, when I got my first job in the 80s, I was making uh, 28,000 Canadian, and uh, so. Yeah, thirty thousand U.S. probably a good number, but that's that's too high for geosynchronous. Twenty-five thousand or twenty-four? Uh, let's say twenty twenty-four. See, okay. plus or minus ten percent. Wait a minute, let me think. What's calculator? Twenty-three. Mm -hmm. Um, let's just say 22.5. Okay. Split my. <laughs> and that's in my. All right. Because that's. Is that dog years? Okay. 22.5 uh -huh. K miles. Okay. Regarding company mentioned in four. This is a long freaking question. I know. I, I don't know. Watch <laughs> In company from 1892. Let's go to seven. Okay. Uh, seven. Oh, that's the fighter jet. That's probably the F-22 Raptor. Okay, eight. Uh, eight. Uh, Wait, that, that's based division, on this company, which is the answer to my six. Very long questions. Make sure you let him know that. Another company. Okay, number nine. Boy. Okay, nine. Uh, that's that's got to be Lockheed Martin. That sounds familiar. Yep. Ten is the Aegis defense system. 
A E G I S. Yay. I know that. I know he's worked on the Aegis system. And the Aegis system is the system used on American destroyers and cruisers for and it's five letters. Combat. Oh, and that's five. And it's five bonus letters. number bonus number one is Center for Inquiry. Center for Inquiry. Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, A E G I. Yeah, you're right. We're yep. Right, sir. And what's and, twelve? Guess how many times he's been laid off? Oh, twice. How about the babysitting job? Oh yeah, boy. The doubt. He's had. Oh, but this is seven unique facilities for nine different corporations. Yeah. He's not counting babysitting. I can't picture him babysitting. <laughs> I can, I can picture him on, paper boy. I can see. Paper yeah, paper boy. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Martin. I put your paper <laughs> up on the porch for you. <laughs> yeah, I can't see him babysitting either. On his little bicycle. Ring, ring. Hey. Hey, it's Rob <laughs> down the street, our paper boy. Paper what boy. What do you guys Rob. think of twice? You think more than that? I, I guess I guess yes. two or three. Okay. It's plus minus or minus one, eh? So what so do you go say? With three, I think. <laughs> What do you guys want to say? Two or three? Three? Go with three. Okay. Hopefully it's not one. Okay. <laughs> We're back to eight. Six and eight. Eight. Six. Company mission four. Didn't he work for NASA? Not directly. Okay. So this company, did they design the uh, uh, the tiles on the shuttle? Which number eight? Number so eight, yeah. Six, six, I think, is GE. GE bought RCA. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. That makes sense. Excellent. Another company. Aerospace division so, of this company. So who acquired GE Aerospace? Um, McDonnell Douglas? Douglas? No, definitely okay. not. Okay. I, I could say that because I, I'm a my dad worked for McDonnell Douglas and I'm, I know a lot about them. Okay. They McDonald bought Douglas, Boeing bought McDonnell Douglas, but Nothing to do with GE Aerospace. Ah, uh, that's what I was thinking was Boeing. But let me think. Uh, uh, Drummond, or 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 is or is that the answer to eight? Is GE the answer to eight and six or something else? Mm. No, no, no. G GE bought RCA, and then after their aerospace division was acquired, I get another company in '93. Oh. Oh, did it hurt? <laughs> okay, that would make sense. I can't jump out of if, if, if Martin Marietta bought GE Aerospace, then that's how he could end up at Lockheed because Lockheed bought Martin became Lockheed Martin. So part Martin Marietta. So what was that's number eight? Yes. Eight is Martin. Lockheed Martin, uh, Martin Marietta or Martin. Okay. Yeah. Do we have the other one? Yeah. Six? Yeah, GE. Six is GE, I think. Well, it's more than okay. I know. Well, then we should go back. You notice so, you didn't come so what, so what, all right, what are we putting? Hi, Rob. Three? I know you're what, watching this. What were we putting for three? <laughs> college. Three, City College of New York. Okay. And so, number one, we got babysitting. Two, we got Baskin Robbins. 
three, we've got City College, New York. Four, we've got RCA. Five. Yep. Five is 22, five miles. Oh, yeah, there we are. I, it's all, I got scratching there. Uh, 22,500. Uh -huh. And then six is GE, seven is F22 Raptor, eight is Martin Marietta, nine is Lockheed Martin, 10 is the Aegis system. Uh, bonus one is CFI, and bonus two, did we say three? Yeah. Three. Are you saying okay. F as in Frank 22 Raptor? Yes. For, F okay. for fighter. Oh, S for fighter. Thank you. F-22 Raptor from the Advanced Tactical Fighter Competition that took place between the Lockheed Boeing team and the McDonnell Northrop team, or Northrop McDonnell team. I'm glad, I'm glad you're keeping track Air, of aeros, aeros, Defense aerospace is a bit of a hobby. I'm going to have to record this. Because what my dad the, worked for McDonnell Douglas. What was the video game? Do you know? Uh, F-22 Raptor, probably. Wow. Cool. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Carl. Great. Everybody but me, team. Oh, well, I, <laughs> I, didn't I knew know. Jennifer and Corey, but you guys all. Knew. I knew that. Yeah, you guys all knew that one too. All right. Yeah. I'll go yeah. back. So, and and um, the funny thing is, Rob says direction. Carl won't know these. I know. But he's but like some of these he's mentioned before in the history of trivia. So I know he doesn't remember that you got a photographic that. memory. Right. It's eidetic, right? You have an eidetic memory? It's close to it. What's All eidetic? Right. Well, sort of pretty. It's what Sheldon had in Big Bang Theory. What is that? It's like photographic. It's, but it's, it's basically what, what people call photographic memory. Yeah. It's, yeah. So you so you really do think you have a photo, almost photographic? Uh, not, I mean, not quite, but yes. I, I think you. So do. are you I, cheating when you play? <laughs> well, he's not he's not using anything outside his head well that's true i mean i could technically yeah no i guess I mean, not basically i, I remember not. things yeah wait till you get to be my age does it work treasure, so well? treasure yeah, well. it as long as you can carl that's right yeah. just well we have it on record now it's all downhill from here <laughs> no 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, you start, you start to take pride in other things, attributes that you can carry out. Yeah, kitten fostering. Yeah, I now yeah, I remember him mentioning Martin at one point. Also, he's talked and a lot about his employment. I can't remember if he had a specific round where he talked about this stuff a lot, or if it just came up in random conversation. I think he had a round where he mentioned Martin before. Is that good? Okay. All right. Good job, team. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, here's my team. <laughs> we just left one room to the other. Oh, it's just tough. I'm gonna I'm gonna close the breakout rooms because. Yeah, they don't. They don't need any more time. They, if they need more time than that, that's too bad. So sad. <laughs> I mean, my gosh, you either don't know it or you don't know it. <laughs> right now, I'd be like, I got one point. <laughs> I would have put paper boy on the first one. I would have too. <laughs> so I would have only gotten Jennifer and Corey. You don't think there's any? Oh well, horror movies for paper boy. <laughs> That would be a good movie to make. I think the closest one is It. Yeah. You know, I never saw that. You never saw It? Nope. I never saw It. I never read It. Never read It. Yeah, no. I Even though I'm a fan of horror fiction, I've never been a huge fan of Stephen King. He's mm. not. He's, he, he's, he'll tell you how good he is. <laughs> I used to mm. live here or no man, so believe me, I had my film. I've read several of his short stories and it didn't cause me to want to read any of his books. Who? Stephen King. Um, I got into Pet Cemetery and threw it away halfway through because I had to hit the button. Who hit the button? I did. It was too long. People are going to oh, be. Were you ever a lighthouse master? People are going to be uh, very mad at you. I don't care. I was done. <laughs> and you have a 60 second <laughs> limit, right? Yep. <laughs> 
We still had five questions to go. Wow. Uh, yeah, we weren't even close. Well, let them go back. Let them go no, because they couldn't have. If you're on five questions to. to go. Yeah, it took along, us that long to read along. the questions. We, I mean, <laughs> it at least a couple of minutes to just pick answers. <laughs> that's what happens when you share a screen so i think i think mike's trying to tell us he's done this category before yeah he did but with different, different <coughs> there were well, different the answers, answers i just wanted to use math. you Didn't know i spent a lot of time on that graphic and i wanted to use it again <laughs> yeah, I can tell. That was a we tough tell. Graphic yeah. To yeah, yeah. He was a graphic designer. Graphic, Mike. Mike's first job. Graphic. Designer. Did you guys see? <laughs> did you guys see the guy? What's Susan, his name? Susan, since we're chatting anyway, give him a few more minutes. They might want to yeah. like do the bonus, which is just a few guesses of a number. If oh was, my God, you guys! You know, we didn't have to. We don't know any of those answers. We just jumped ahead to the ones we knew. So if I bet you, you do got that, I'm right back. Not kidding. It's too long. Going? Oh, I canceled mine. I need. I need to be put back in four. Oh, I'm. I'm not gonna go back because Jane, you're supposed to be in four. Yeah. I'm sorry. I click. You're in four. I I click cancel when the little. Oh oh! I think if you go up to the upper right hand corner, the three little dots on your screen, it might tell you you can go. Okay. It's upper right hand corner. There? What? Mine's in the upper left. I don't oh. have any dots like that. Oh, mine's lower on the you lower. You have the mouse there. over them. Breakout. Did room. you do it, Jane? <clears throat> no. Okay, here, let me try this. Um, and then hold on. You can fling her. I'm going to fling her. I'm going to fling yeah. her. You're supposed to be in four? Yes. Yeah. Okay, there you go. I think it's working now, right? It's after nine o'clock and it's still 28 degrees here. I hate it here. What's it? What's 28 degrees? Yeah, it's about 90. It's been <laughs> 70, 65, 70 here for weeks. Mm. Is Jane, yeah. ready to go? It is incredibly hot here. Uh, so, Carl, did I sink my team? Uh, I don't think so. No. You, I don't, Carl, you, Carl you was mentioned a lot of this stuff before. Yeah, we, Carl yeah. knew. I thought I had, and and some of them like were interplaying one to the other, which if you didn't know one, the other one gave you the hint to it. Yeah. Some people yeah, weren't I, getting that. I, I can't I seem to get over there. Here some answers backwards. Yeah, from, some dates. From, 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 now you should be able to go, Jane. And oh my God, the first one was a give me. I saw the group got that wrong. It's like, we are you we, we, freaking kidding me? No, no, we, we got it wrong. We almost got it wrong. And we still can't picture you doing it. Yeah, if it were up to me and Susan, we'd have missed it. You would have been a you would have been on a bicycle with a little with a little bell. Oh, don't, don't give it away. Don't give it away. <laughs> Jane, I made you a, I made you a co-host. You should tell them that. I, I, I'm, I'm looking, well, one of the other teams, I'm looking forward to finding, I want to find it if it's streaming on Netflix anywhere, where they had the horror films about being a paper boy. <laughs> that's what we thought you were. Well, no, that's that, what that, we're looking that's for. That's why I, I changed from that answer, because they're like, I don't think there's any paper boy horror. <laughs> yeah, right. The paper boy. I'm, I'm closing the rooms. I'm done with them being in there. Yeah, it's but, okay, Jane. Really? They, Paul they, is coming from inside the print shop. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, what, Carl? <laughs> That's how I feel. What'd you say? I said the call is coming from inside the print shop. The newsboy That's horror. That's how story. I felt, Jane. <laughs> and then instead of a hand, he had nothing but twine. <laughs> Rubber bands. <laughs> He's Seriously. driving. Along. I know. I'm serious. On a bicycle. Someone could have been chasing him. <laughs> I've never been a paper boy if he puts a twine. Although, Chase although. You know, uh, better off dead. Come close. He gets chased around by the paperboy constantly. Who wants his two dollars? Ooh, I don't know that one. <laughs> it could be back. like better off dead. Mr. With Martin, the... Mr. Martin, I left your paper up on the on the on the porch. I want my and this, two <laughs> and Mr. Martin's like, get off my lawn, kid. What Why can't you put the paper up here where it's not getting wet? What movie is that? 
I'm just saying that's oh I'm picturing <laughs> I'm picturing this this inner uh, Rob on a bicycle. Okay. Oh don't get okay. I'm sorry for my team. I didn't join you because he was it's too entertaining I, out here. I don't okay. think I would have uh, contributed anything. We were, we were no, having Vincent, a good laugh Vincent wanted to stay people. in the main room because we were being recorded. So, uh, <laughs> question, question, question number one. <laughs> question number one. I just can't believe people didn't get this. I saw somebody put down freaking paper boy like their horror we films about paper, paper boy. boy. It's babysitter. He sat on babies. <laughs> How much did you babysit? There is really no know. way you were a babysitter. Did you I was babysitter. Babysitter. I said that. Oh man. Okay. Number two, wow, uh, the company that I was talking about where I worked for six freaking years was Baskin Robin. The round on ice cream flavors. <laughs> right. I, I remember did. you telling us that. We got to stop changing answers once we put it down. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, my college, I heard one team get it at least. And I, I'm embarrassed that New Chicago went there. It's the city college of New York. Yay! Mitchell Cuckoo. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Very cool. Mario Puzo went there. Wow. Yeah. Impressive. Yeah. Um, and Jonah Salk. That's the biggest one. All right. No, no, um, Mario Puzo. Wow. I thought the uh I thought the hint in there about better known consumer electronics would help, but apparently not, at least the groups I looked at. It's RCA. Hey, yeah, all right. All right. Oh, Faith liked that one. Faith got one. She's happy really about it. I pulled that out of my brain. Good job, Faith. You should have just stuck with your other answer. It was, actually, it was actually called the RCA Space Center, the RCA Astro Electronics, and the RCA Astro Space Center. Hey, Peggy. Nice. Um, Where was it located? Shorter answers, Rob. East Windsor, New Jersey. All right, I know Leonard got this one. 22,236 plus or minus 10%. The range is 20,012 to 24,480. Yeah. All Thank right, you, Rob and Terry worked that one out. I mean, Number Rob and Terry. Six. Carl and Terry. Did anyone get that one wrong? Carl and Terry. My <laughs> God, I cannot talk. Did anyone yeah. get that wrong? Yeah. Well, we, we got it wrong. Uh, yeah. Number six. All right. This is the really hint here was the high profile CEO of the time period was Jack Welch. This was General Electric. Oh, God. <laughs> nice. All right. Um, the fighter jet. Oh, my God. This hurts. Somebody got it off by one digit. I'm sorry. It's not the F-21. There's no such plane. It's the F-22. Oh, no. We had, uh, well, we had, another, we had another F. F-21 was a temporary designation given to an Israeli plane used in uh, World War II. <laughs> All right. I'm glad I didn't make a bonus about that because only Carl no, would Raptor by itself wasn't good enough? Fear. No, that's good. Either one. Ever the raptor. Another F. I wonder what that F was. Mm. Number eight is... <laughs> it's a precursor. So, number eight, the Shuttle Columbia, no, as people were mixing it up with the Challenger disaster, uh, which was the O-ring problem. This was when a piece, not not ice, I heard. A piece Short of answers. The external tank <laughs> broke off and broke through the wing, and the tank was made by Martin Marietta. Mm. Number uh, nine. This was a hint that should have gotten from the previous one and the Lockheed facility in this one. It's Lockheed Martin. Yay. We, all right. Yay, Finally. Karen. Finally. <laughs> Lockheed Martin for every single one. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, had to get who, one right somewhere even when get, he was he wasn't babysitting he was working for lockheed martin, lockheed martin. <laughs> that, that's who i get my paycheck from for my retirement yeah um so and uh, <laughs> anyone get number 10 ages yes carl lockheed. gets it for my team very good thank you leonard yep. what, what is it Aegis, which is which it's is zeus, e -G -I -S. which is zeus's shield which is you, why I, it's the shield of the fleet Say it, right. again. Say it again. Say it again. The Ty Ticonderoga class crew. Showing off, Carl. Very good. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> Say it again. Say it again all by yourself. A E G I S. Aegis. Aegis. Okay. Thank you. I'll put the I'll put the word. The now. world word. So bonus number one. Uh, this is C F I. Yay. <laughs> Inquiry. Yay. I knew that one. <laughs> bonus number two. All right. Plus or minus one. I heard one team get it. It's five times. Oh. oh, and we said six, so we got it too. <laughs> it. It's one of the go. answers we threw out yet again right. and didn't go with. Okay. Here's all the answers. Was that a plus or minus, y'all? Plus, yeah, yeah, plus or minus one. one. Yeah. Plus or minus one. Yay. So you don't think that for number five, that 20,000 is close enough? 
What's this? Ooh, 20, I did, I oh, did 10% one, range. Ooh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, how many oh. significant figures are you using? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I know <laughs> <laughs> quality work. That is quality. <laughs> I'm thinking, I keep thinking of when he puts that up, you know, who I'm thinking of is that guy in Pennsylvania who's running against Oz. Oh, remember, yeah. remember the tweet that Oz was uh, saying that uh, they were making fun saying that he was, he was associated with um, not Fauci, but um, Bernie Sanders or whatever. And then the guy, the, the guy is running for Pennsylvania governor. He puts up a, like a Photoshop. Oh. Like, Crappy look at like the kitten or something. It's like so anyway, you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just laughing to myself. That's okay. I'm just still trying to picture Rob babysitting kids. <laughs> I told I'm you. imagining you. parents letting him. <laughs> it's Seriously. not that. It's him sitting on babies. I can see him taking it. <laughs> I tell you. I'm here to sit on your baby. Someone said babysitter and we dismissed it like that. <laughs> he laughed and said no. We don't go away. No, no children were harmed in the making of this category. This was in the air before people before car seats existed. So, <laughs> so, my, my, so it's, you so know, the, the, sit on them as they grow. the term babysitter is used even if you're not a baby. You realize I actually never, never had to worry about kids that had diapers. So you know, and they were like, thank God, <laughs> four, <laughs> five, yeah. six years old, something like that. He'd be like, he'd be like. I don't smell anything. Yeah, no, I was not going to take it. Uh, no. I didn't change it because there, it smells fine. <laughs> there's, a good, there's a good Rob question. True or false? Rob has never changed a diaper. That is absolutely true. Never. never. When, we didn't start babysitting you, my nieces until they were well past that age. So, no. Uh, when you have well, 20 nieces and nephews, you do end up changing some diapers. Well, uh, was this, we would move to a different state. There's time yet was, for you because. Uh, <laughs> We all have to have diapers at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I was a second. You might not change, change, change your own. You might change it ain't them for him. Uh, that's yet. good. Change your I own, would, Rob. I was the second oldest of eight. Ask me if I ever changed. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> he probably. He, um, I, I was the youngest, so I had to wait for the nieces and nephews oh. before I got indoctrinated into that. Bob. Mm. Bob was shipped over to New Jersey to change the diapers, so that Rob didn't. <laughs> Hey, there's this guy in Papa who's really good at it. <laughs> scores. Oh, okay, scores. So let's start with scam busters. We got five. No, six. Okay, six. How about this is us at our best behavior? Uh, seven. And hey, Clarence Thomas, do we get to keep loving versus Virginia? Thank you, Janine. We got seven. Woo! And then let's go six. six. Let's six Monterey six or seven. I we got seven. I, okay, so six Monterey Bay bodacious babes. Um, five. And the team that I'm adding the next person to not. Ten. <laughs> Ten. Oh. Oh. Plan works perfectly. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is the time where we take a picture. Let me take a five minute break. So everybody look charming and beautiful so that you can be on our on our screenshot and everybody all over the world will be like, oh, I'm waiting patiently for that picture. Okay, let me grab, let me grab my screenshot function. As you guys all pause long enough to make yourselves beautiful. Okay, look beautiful. Let me make sure I got it. Uh, let's see. Let me save it. Can we blink yet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she makes us pose for way too long. Every I know. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Susan, no, you need I don't to start make you saying. Pose for long. I'm, I just want to make sure I've saved it before I. You before need to start I... saying click when you actually uh, okay. press the button on your. So wait, 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 wait. So, so my... are, you, are you mansplaining to a professional photographer? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> yeah. She yeah. needs to say click. <laughs> This Thank is you for I got my picture taken. Does this mean I got my picture taken last week asleep? Uh, it's up on it's up on the video. I didn't end up putting it on Facebook because I was banned. 
<laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. That's You're right. out of Facebook jail You're now. Tiny. Don't worry. Yeah, about but it. they've still done some. They've they've like lowered my. Um, <laughs> they've done some things. Okay? To me. Hmm? <laughs> she said when she was asleep and is like, is that lady okay? <laughs> is there somebody? Were you really asleep? Okay, go, go, do, go, go. Five minutes. Five right, minutes. Five minutes. Oh, I'm gonna pee. I might not be back. Harry said I wasn't the only one. Hey, good night. You were. Hey, Wendy. Nice to see everybody. Bye, bye. Oh, you too. Glad bye, you're feeling bye, better. Bye. Thank you. Bye. But oh, remember, we're still recording. How oh, exciting. It could be, it depends on what you say. Is that what you were waiting for, for me to say something? So I went on a long walk today and I got a really good picture. What do you think? Oh, I saw that. That's amazing. Yeah, the, the bird on top is a immature red-tailed hawk. And uh, I saw it hovering and, you know, flying slowly. And I was taking a bunch of pictures and all of a sudden this other bird comes flying up to chase it away and that is an adult uh, female uh, northern harrier so that's a really spectacular picture yeah that 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 came out pretty darn well yeah, yeah. it's it's remarkable because um they were so badly backlit um that i had trouble identifying what kind of birds they were um, until I started fussing with the images. Nice. So, so that came out all right. And to get it where they both have their wings spread at the same time, that's pretty cool. Yeah, well, that's what uh, uh, burst mode at 25 frames per second does. Ah, yeah. <laughs> so you get, you know, you get 45 pictures and one of them is right. So, yep. Yep. Oh, it, I'm sorry. It's all skill. <laughs> you just okay. reminded me something leonard yes the bird is the word <laughs> the bird the bird the bird is the word yeah in the beginning there what's the bird bird is the word yeah have you ever seen uh an episode of, uh, oh, I forgot what it was. Uh, family Guy. He does mm -hmm. that. I, uh, I must funny. admit, no, I have never seen no, an entire no. episode of Family Guy. It's hilarious. I have been told that by many people. My yeah. sense of humor is not the same as many others. It's no. definitely not everybody's cup of tea. No, it is not. Uh, it can be pretty, pretty crass. Well, I thought that was the uh, the most positive thing about it. Hey, oh. I'm, I have a, I have some a woman. What I miss? A woman who works for uh, Center for Inquiry, Julia Lavarney. Lavarney. <laughs> a lot of fun. She's a lot of fun, and she's going to be going to SciCon. She needs a roommate. So I'm just putting it out there, a female roommate. <clears throat> Where's Deborah? <laughs> Where is Deborah? Deborah is at the back of her camera there. I yeah, see her she see her walking around the room. So I'm guessing ben, that's her kitchen. Ben, ben, we were talking about birds, and oh. just Leonard reminded me of something that the bird is the word. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> bird, 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 bird is the word. B -b -b bird, bird, bird. That might be somebody's category I, coming up. Nice. Yes. I, I do quite enjoy Leonard's uh, bird pictures. You take a bunch of pictures like that, Leonard. 
like 45 or something you get a couple good ones out of it um if i'm lucky the ratio is that good yeah, yeah that's what i mean uh the um the name for that they call it um i think it's spray and pray something like that spray and pray a spray and play i do that with concerts too take a, you know i take a burst of you know five shots and i get one good one out of it if i'm lucky yeah I do that at CSI Con. It was worse years ago. I shoot a whole thirty-six rolls of film and get maybe two two usable shots out of it. Yeah, yeah. It was harder way, to do that back then. Yeah, the way, way I shoot it today, I could not have could not have shot on film that way. I could not afford it, right? <laughs> yeah. I shoot. I shoot. I've shot eight hundred to a thousand shots in one at one rock performance, and then I yeah, I took like I took four hundred and fifty. Yeah, I took 450 pictures today. Yeah. And and I, I wow. suspect that I'm gonna keep a dozen, maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, well, that's because we we're not skilled like you are, Susan. Oh well, so it takes so no, much. When she has it set up in a birds, that's different. Birds she, are not she's, she's gotta do so much work to get that bird into position. <laughs> in the glamour shots booth <laughs> a little rouge <laughs> a little all right we're right. back and we're back it's been five minutes by my clock which who knows what time it is so quick announcements are um that janine's having a thing in eugene and i'm all excited deborah and, and mark and i are gonna go and leonard's gonna go i just sent out the announcements by paper mail today and just now as we were on break i had my first speaker canceled due to having covid oh no who canceled affy that's too bad maybe she'll feel better you should say my last not my first be optimistic yeah <laughs> i know no she uh was visiting family in vermont and caught COVID she thinks on the plane and is extending her stay in Vermont while she recovered. Oh, stay there with them. Okay, that makes sense. No. Well, and then I'm going to be in Seattle. Jeff isn't here and Julie. I'll be in Seattle and there's going to be a meet and greet they've put together before that. Hopefully we'll be able to meet and greet. And what else is happening? Rob has done some amazing interviews. Is Rob here? Oh, there he is. Here. Right Rob's there. interviews are really good. I'm He's really done, enjoying them. I, I told him, Leonard. I'm so much, you're so much yeah. better at doing these than I am. Uh, so I actually had two published this week, amazingly. They said there would space them out every week, but there were two this week, and I just put the link in. Neil deGrasse Tyson. And no, no, this week it was Richard Weissman and Kenny Biddle. Richard Weissman is just a joy, you guys. And somebody who's really right on the screen here is going to be the next one. Guess who that is? Uh, someone with a really funny last name. Susan yeah. uh, the Wik the Wikipedia Trishan. <laughs> yeah. So I'm I'm waiting for my video for my video to come out. He said he edited it down to like 40 minutes. It was like an hour and ten. It was a, it was an hour fif fifty minutes, Susan. It was unbelievably long. Yeah. And then Barry wrote me after watching Tyson's. It was really good, but you got to do 20 minutes. <laughs> I can't do 20 minutes. I'll try a half hour going forward. But yours was an hour. I think it was an hour and forty minutes before I. It edited couldn't have it been an hour and forty minutes. Oh yeah, I edited it down to forty. But yeah. Oh, I can't imagine all the good stuff is on the cutting room floor. Sorry, <laughs> not right. So I am giving a talk, um, uh, August sixth, for the Vintage Computer Festival West at oh, the fun. Computer History Museum in um, in Mountain View, California. Are they going to record Neat. it? Uh, I hope so. I'm not sure. It's over Zoom, right? Uh, no, this oh. will be uh, in person. Humans you mean like person humans, to person? Humans Human. in this in the same room. Wow. wow, I've heard of that. Yeah, so uh, it it might be fun. I uh, I suspect I'm leaving most of the time open for Q and A because I think that'll be the most interesting part. So with vintage uh, computers, is going to be vintage people too? Um, <laughs> it's really quite surprising, the age range. You actually have fairly young people, the only, like in their 20s or younger, that wow. have taken up the idea of 
collecting these 40, 50 year old machines. Wow. So I'm going to be talking about my search for the one and only original prototype Commodore PET. That's in your basement. Cool. Leonard, no, it is not. It's in your basement. I'm sure it is. No, it is, it is not. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's in his basement. No. Nope. Is Larry just is the search there? ongoing? No, it, it was found. Uh -huh. Oh. It was found. It, it took uh, the... Uh, uh, the hunt took some unexpected turns, mm. uh, but uh, once we once we track down, gee, something funny is going on here at this uh, in this collection, and got a hold of the curator of the museum and said, "Check this out." And he went, "Oh, okay." And a couple of weeks later, poof, there it is. <laughs> awesome. Funny, ha ha. Awesome. Well, not that ha ha. Karen, you you tagged Kyle with Kyle Samuels. I don't know who Kyle Sam. Is. <laughs> I don't know. Kyle Samuels is going to go. That's not Kyle Samuels. Just saying. Karen here. She is, but she's muted. Oh, but Kyle Samuels apparently is. <laughs> Maybe he'll be here next week. <laughs> hey, there you go. I wonder if he looks like you. All right, so I love to. Uh, if you ever guys get a, get a get a chance, it's oh, it's fixed. If you I guys get a chance, uh, Leonard did a TEDx talk a long oh. time ago that was very good. Oh, if anybody wants to put the link to that in here about what was, what was the topic? Computers. It, it was actually a. It was one of the uh, first TED Q and As. Mm -hmm. um, I I was actually. I was asked to give a talk. Um, there was nothing I particularly wanted to talk about. So I wrote a really, really bad talk yeah, and, sub and submitted it and told them that what I really wanted to do was a Q&A session. And when they got a copy of my talk, they said, yeah, Q&A, <laughs> that sounds good. That's awesome. <laughs> so also going on mm -hmm. is Anybody within the sound of my voice who's here in Monterey County, we are having a our Monterey County Skeptic Meetup at Gianni's Pizza on the 10th of August. So just letting you know. And then Eugene's after that. And then after that is Seattle for me. And then I'm driving to LA to do another talk down there. And so subscribe to the, uh, the CFI uh, Center for Inquiries uh, YouTube channel so you can get all these interviews that Rob's doing because they're really fun. He's got Penn Gillette he's going to be talking to and it's all just a string of the F word. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't say that. No, he, he mixed it up. He has he oh, other, he words? Uses other words. Oh, a variety of other words. At least PG-13. Maybe R. <laughs> I told him, how are you going to get those all I'll take it out because he told me he's going to be interviewing Penn Gillette. Yeah, I, I asked Barry. I said, and, and I said, I said how are you going to get those yeah. all edited out? Yeah. He said, no, I'm going to let Penn be Penn. Okay. So it's going to make it much better. F-bombs all over <laughs> and other words. Well, what else is he going to say? <laughs> right? Seriously. I'm going to make Penn be Teller. Ooh. Well, he'd be smarter that way. <laughs> <laughs> this meeting is being recorded. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, he's blocked me already. I, I yeah. love what uh, Teller said about being the silent one. That Tam one time he said the great thing about being the one who doesn't talk during the act is Penn's the one that gets all the hate mail and everyone can <laughs> complain about stuff. So that'll be fun. So my talk should be coming out. My interview with should be coming out, and then I think it's Penn's, right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. I'm okay. doing uh, Naomi or Ortegas. I think her last name is next. And my, I wasn't going to do her because I read her. I'm not that interested in the topic, but my sister is uh, has the same degree she does, and she said you have to do her when she saw the list of speakers. So she's because of my sister. You're doing this for your sister. She's a his, yeah, she's she's a historian of science. All right. Oh, all right. So we're back. Oh, oh, look at we have a guest. Not a guest. Speed of Jamie. We have a new entry, and who? Okay, I can't add them to the team that is, that is, I'm adding the next person. We have only four people. Everybody else has at least five. I agree. 
Well, no, but you have 16 points in this other and <laughs> and we did it with only four people. I know, but scam busters only have 11. But we what? did it with only four people. <laughs> that's that's never I been the criteria. Why do, you, why do you? No. And they just lost Wendy. Yeah, we lost someone. Oh, we did. We're, gonna, we're losing me soon. Yeah, I'm putting, I'm putting <laughs> Jamie and Caspian. So you guys should have done really awful before people. Uh, that was our strategy. If it I wasn't still, for Janine, we would have. I oh, still think we got six last time, not seven. No, oh, and I think seven. you're only getting Caspian. Hi, Caspian. Hello. Oh, so, yes, so, just me. Okay, so there's Jamie. Which six do you think you got? So you guys could work it out, and she could tell you if there's another. No, one. we got we got it because you said you'd accept just the the a uh, name of the stealth thing. Yeah, we got, got that. Me. We got that, but we missed five. By like I, I'm counting the ones we got right. We got one right, three right, five. No, we didn't get five right because Caspian, they're fighting over you. Twenty thousand. Oh, it had to be 20,012. We haven't started the third round. So yeah. we're about to start the third round, which is Jamie. So, Gaspian, I'm putting you on scam busters because they only have 11 points. But Gail wants you because, because there's less people on her team. And the next category is Byzantine emperors. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jamie, you're up. Well, okay. I gotta, wait, I got to give you... Oh, I get to fling him. Oh, I love flinging. Yes. Beats. I think we're going to have, we're going to have in the future, I think we're going to make it all flinging all time. I get to <laughs> fling you whenever you're reading the category. I'm not going to give you co-host permission. I think that's hilarious. I think I'm yeah, sure. Uh, doing it's funny. Automotive though, history. You can be right in the it's middle of a conversation with Jamie and he'll be about to. <laughs> <laughs> that's your fling I didn't want to sign up team. for a group fling. I'm just saying. <laughs> with, with, your mother, with your mother with your mother that's i, I don't right. want to get in trouble for okay. being in this group let's get the category name so i can mute all okay you were all set yeah okay automotive history that's my my category is automotive history I do all, right. Know. all right here comes the mute unmute yourself jamie why do people never remember that? Oh, I was muted too. <laughs> okay, everybody all set? Let me, I'm on an iPad, so this takes a little bit of an effort. Oh yeah, so cumbersome. Okay, all set. Number one, automotive history. Okay, when my wife and I lived in Jerusalem in the 1980s, a very popular Israeli-made car was called the Susita. By legend, it was equally popular with local camels. How come? Camels? Yeah. Are, are we talking camels or camel cigarettes? Camel the animal. <laughs> camel the animal. Okay. Uh, hold on. Number two. Dromedary. Dromedary. Back to mm. Number two. When the Berlin Wall fell, dozens of happy East Germans joyfully drove their little communist built cars across the border in celebration. What is the name of these famous, beloved, smelly, noisy, two-stroke East German cars? Okay. Okay, number three. In the USA, steering wheels are located on the left and cars drive on the right side of the road. In the UK, Australia, Thailand, and some other countries, cars have steering wheels on the right and people drive on the left. What is the only country that now has all its cars with steering wheels on the right, but people must drive on the right? And the hint is, I think historically, Okay, number four. Okay, number four. Former and current owners of this famous iconic car include Pendulette, 
Steve McQueen, Peter Sellers, Enzo Ferrari, James Garner, Madonna, Mick Jagger, Donatella Versace, Drew Barrymore, Britney Spears, Whoopi Goldberg, and my wife, Sharon. What car is this? That's funny, we're just talking about Ben Jillette. Yep, that's why I put it there. Okay, number five. As early as 1895, cars oftentimes had flower vases mounted onto their dashboards. This added a touch of luxury as well as functioning air fresheners. This trend generally vanished in the 1940s, except for one car that offered this feature as standard equipment well into the 2000s. It was finally removed in 2011. What car is this? Okay, let's see, number six. Okay, number six. Electric vehicles, EVs, and gas electric hybrids are becoming more and more popular today. The first EV, was developed in the 1830s. In 1899, the first hybrid car was produced and sold by watch famous automotive innovator. Number seven. The world's first organized automobile racing competition was in 1894 from Paris to Rouen, France. What was the average speed of his racing cars within plus or minus five miles per hour? Let's see, number eight. Okay, number eight. AC spark plugs were historically manufactured to be used in GM vehicles. Champion spark plugs were traditionally used in Fords and other car brands. What does AC stand for? Number nine. The first American gas-powered car was a Duryea motor wagon in 1893. In what U.S. state were these produced? Number 10. In the USA, most car horns honk in the, mus in the musical key of what? <laughs> and a bonus. Okay. Which famous current car manufacturing company has a stylized Viking sailing ship as its logo? That's it. Well written. Okie dokie, artichoke. Okay. We're going to our, Kyle, you want to send us to our rooms? And I'll, <laughs> I'll fling Jamie around. Okay. Please remind me. I get whiplash by being flung. Gosh, a whole bunch of people need to be assigned. Hold on. That's weird how that works. Okay, Ben is going to go to five bob is gonna go to and it's funny it puts you guys in alphabetical order one caspian yeah. is gonna go to three gail is going to one jamie is gonna be flung to we're gonna start in three janine is in one Oh yeah, there you are. Okay. I don't know why I just went blank. Karen, look at these. Oh my gosh, almost everybody, half of you guys were not in your rooms for some reason. 
unassigned. Kevin, you're going to go to three. Leonard, um, Lineard is going to go to five. I'm in five as well. I got uh, my, my, uh, something happened to my computer and it, had, it turned off. So I had to start it again. Okay. Rename, Renam, Renami. Peggy, you're going to go to four. Robin and I are in four. That's right. They're waiting for I... you. There you go. Now I get to go to three. Uh, I'm going to. Okay. Now I get to. Oh, no. Okay. So hold your breath. <laughs> What's going to happen? <laughs> no, no, to Jamie. Oh. I'm going to get flung. He... <laughs> I get whiplash. Like yeah, flung. Room when I see him flung. That's just too funny. Hold on. That's the easiest way of doing this. Why don't you fling Kyle? I mean, Kyle over here. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever his yeah. name is, huh? Oh, where are you, Jamie? Oh, I'm in three and it's moved up. <coughs> oh, in three. Okay, here we go. The call was coming from inside the breakout room. <laughs> Caspin, turn on your video so we can see you. It took me 10 minutes to get Zoom to even open. I'm Why? not going to risk the video because this computer is a wimp. I have that. Uh, I have my old computer. Why don't you take that? It's probably still not going to be any better than this. But Oh, come on. Come take my old computer. Is it a laptop? No, my old computer, the one we upgraded to the one I'm here. It wasn't that bad. Well, then that's not any good because I'm on a laptop. Oh, well, why, why not just use a computer? Because I'm cooking. Oh, and I can't you're... bring my desktop downstairs. Oh, well, you could. Oh, sure, yeah. That makes sense. You're on a desktop. Okay, so I know none of these. I know Pendula had a little itty bitty tiny car. Mini Cooper. Oh, that That's makes That's probably yeah. the winner. That fits. Have we decided if Pendula is a good skeptic yet? No. Here's what, here's what I think he is. So this podcast, and more than any other podcaster, except for maybe Sarah Silverman, he's willing to say I was wrong, which to me. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that is a very good point, Mike. Very that's an important feature. It's not the only qualification. Not about knowing is not about what the facts are. It's about the process. Science is, oh, we learned a new thing. We change our minds now instead of good point. That and science and faith. Except he was on Dr. Oz. Yeah. And he wouldn't admit it that it was a problem. Anyway, Caspian, our first category was Sherlock Holmes. Oh. I I, I scored like <coughs> I, I love that. That was I was I just like 10 points. Boom. It was easy. I love All right. it. Why would a car why would a camel like a car? Because it wanted to get to the other side. Um it's a legend, it says. When is a raven like a writing desk? I don't know. <laughs> How long is a ball of string? Does it have maybe like a... Well, it's a legend, so it's not necessarily true. Why would a camel... Did it have a leaky radiator that constantly needed to be refilled? Why would Let's a camel... go with like leaky that? radiator. Because... Camels are water hogs. I don't. Yeah, but if you if they drank radiator fluid, they would die. Maybe it was only water. Maybe it had like a hump no on the back or something. Fluid. Maybe it was shaped like the camel. And the camels would that, go that, up and mate with it, or yeah, I thought it was another camel. Yeah, the thing about camels is they hump really on it, yeah. mate on their own. They require human assistance. Camels? How would you know that? I find that hard Ask to believe. any York student about the camel video and they will know what you were talking about. <laughs> what kind of student? That's why? a high school he went to. Oh. Okay. Why, what, would, what why the, would the York students know about a camel video? What are the tiny East German cars? That's a convenient excuse if you want to make that video, but I'm not, I don't know. Um, I, I know this. They were, there was a joke that they came with two exhausts uh, I'm gonna remember. I, I'll know it once I hear it. Right. But I can't pull it out. The joke was they had two exhaust pipes so that when the engine died, you could use it as a wheelbarrow. It's like <laughs> all the clunk. Or, uh, I, I got I'll, I'll, I'll. If someone says it, I'll say, yeah, that's the one. But I can't pull it out. 
I feel like it's a four letter word that starts with S. Which word are you talking about? Which question are we on? Number two, the East German car. <laughs> Will Barrel. Shite. The Sten? No, that's the name of it's kind of gun. It came with two tailpipes so that you could use it as a wheelbarrow when the engine died. And that was called a. <laughs> the only word that stuck in my head is Stoli, and that is not it. What do we say? All right. One? What How country? What country do the cars have steering wheels on the right? So they have. Oh, I just heard this recently. They get so presumably they get their cars from Britain, but maybe they were Ireland. Would it be like mm -hmm. uh, Australia or New Zealand? No, it might be in that area. Um, man, I just heard about this, but I can't remember the source. There's some place, yeah, in the Pacific. I was leaning towards Asia, but I'm not sure. Maybe India because they they got free from Britain, but it would be some part of India. It's not the whole of India. Pakistan. Mm, I don't. How about how about uh, the disputed territory between India and uh, the U.S. mail system? <laughs> That's true. Uh, what is it? Kashmir. Kashmir. Kashmir, maybe because they're. There were British, but they're not. Pakistan and India were both British, though. Yeah, but well, it would be a place. I think it's like a Pacific Island nation. I would imagine it would be a place that gets most of its cars from England because that's why they would have to have the steering wheel on the right. But it's near <clears throat> other oh, countries. You guys forgot the drive, on the, the drive on the right. How about Fiji? Fiji sounds good. Fiji mermaid? No, I don't think it's an island. I think it's like a Bahamas or something. You sure it's not Ireland? It's South Ireland? Africa. Was it South Pretty Africa? Sure it's not. South Africa? Pretty sure it's not South Africa. Northern Ireland. Very sure it's not Northern Ireland. How about Ireland? Don't know for sure. Okay, question five. Is that a Volkswagen? Yes. The bug, the Volkswagen bug, if they want to be more specific. All right. No idea on six. What do we have for four? Mini Cooper. <laughs> yeah, Cooper. it's not the Mini Mustang? Cooper. No, not a Mustang. You guys, no, it's a tiny little tell car. me. Mini Cooper. Uh, how about number six, Edison? Edison. No, it was a. Autom Is he an automotive innovator, though? No, that's true. A Ford. Ford's the obvious answer, right? And what was the movie Tucker about? Was that was that electric? The Tucker. No. no? I remember looking this up because someone I was arguing with someone on Facebook about electric cars, and I wanted to. And it says the first hybrid car. Are. Does that actually mean hybrid, um, electric, and and gas, or does, could it, it mean could it be the um, the the Stanley Steamer was water? I and doubt that was gas. 1999, though. I mean, it's a famous automotive innovator, so. Go with Henry Ford and yeah, some, who else? Something better. Yeah. And we'll kill. Number eight. How much you want to bet it just means alternating current? No. Not air conditioning? No. It means Albert Champion. Who's that? Probably the guy. The guy who started under the company. Oh. Seven. Oh, 25. Champion Spark Plugs. I've heard of champion spark plugs. I don't know why, but I have. Number seven, do you think it's like 30? 25? Yeah. Yeah, it will be low. So say 25, that way we cover 20 to 30? Yeah, cool. yeah. that's good with me. Gas powered car with the 
after your motor wagon? And what state was it produced? I would say Illinois. How about New York? That could be too. Big state, tons of industry. That's <coughs> right. Yeah. Is it, I mean, the other possible is Michigan, but I think that was later. I w yeah, I want to say yeah. Michigan is, I feel like Michigan is just too obvious and New York is bigger, so. Yeah, New York yep. sounds good to me. They moved to Michigan for cheaper labor, probably. I'm not sure they had cheaper labor in Michigan, but. Okay, what, what car horns honk in the musical key of what? I don't know. If that F. Is the key of F. This is the trivia pursuit question. Yeah. Pursuit question. Is that really? Yeah. Well, then most cars are out of tune because I hear very discordant car horns when I hear two at once. He's using the F word. It's it's F, but that's like the old uh, and then the real old ones are auga. <laughs> what are you on a boat? The real I remember ones. the augas. My uncle used to have one. <laughs> auga. Okay, what's the bonus? What famous current car manufacturing company has a stylized Viking sailing ship as its logo? Something oh, yeah. something Norwegian or Scandinavian like Volvo or Saab. Oh, could be Saab, maybe. Saab still make cars? I don't know. No idea. Like I said, that well, there's my idea. Volvo. What's or the Saab. one that has just like a a, a triangle shape? It's, that's probably what it is. A sideways triangle. That's like a sail. You think the sideways triangle would be considered a stylized Viking? Oh, that's the it's, sail. It's the sail, I think. Oh, that's interesting. Volvo, maybe. Yeah. Oh, then it would fit with Volvo. Yeah. I feel yeah. like Volvo better than Saab anyway. Kevin, Volvo. it looks like you're in Monterey Bay. That's in Rhode Island. It looks like my area where I live, except there's no sea lions. You'd have to flip mirror it north. Of... <laughs> okay. It's so... a real cool place to be at night when the moon comes out. Does the moon come out? Yeah. When you see the moon over the ocean, it's really cool. We get moonsets. We don't get sunsets. Oh, we have sunsets. You guys get sunsets over the ocean. We yeah. get sunrises over the ocean. So do we stars. have an answer for one? One, I wrote down leaky radiator, but I don't know that we had any consensus I on that. I thought it was because it has the hump, like it's hump shaped. No, the... Because um, it says by legend, so it's it's a rumor. So no, I, the camels. I think the humps shape that it thinks. No, the, camel. the camels used camels used to uh, bite parts of the car and chew it and eat it. That sounds more closer to something that happened. Yeah. Okay, I'm all right with that. And what do we decide for number two? What is when the Berlin Wall fell? What was the name of the car? Oh, uh, it's something like um. Skoda, Trey, 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 Trey something. I, I keep getting thinking like trebuchet, but it's not that. That's what's stuck in my head. Traven, Trayvent. What, Mark? Trayvent, Trey. Mark? What? Did I hear you? Trammel, oh. something like that. Ask him if there's a car called a trammel. Is no. Um, okay, number the two. The USA string. Oh, I got a fling. You guys keep making me forget. I got a fling Jamie around. Mm. Goodness gracious. Poor guy. He's just sitting there. And then I have I wrote down Fiji for three. Is that what we wanted? Yeah, I, I tend to think it's like uh, for I just number, noticed for there's two. this hint. Think history. I don't know what that means. Or maybe New Zealand. 
For number two, Trabant. There you go. There you go. How would you spell that? Trabant. T R A B A N T. I kept get, thinking trebuchet. And that, I couldn't come close, up with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that is close now that you said it. I couldn't it. come up with it. That's why we're a team. I don't, I'm not helping here at all. I'm just saying the way I help is what did we get for number three? <laughs> <laughs> we're yeah, we're so far behind anyway. It's not going to. You have, I, I gave you Caspian. It's all right. Yeah, right. Go on, Caspian. Figure something out. Sorry, what? We gave, I said I gave you Caspian, so you should be doing okay. Oh. No pressure, okay. Caspian. Apparently uh, not if it involves cars. Well, you pulled out number two. Okay, so... Because I read a series of East German jokes. <laughs> okay. Um, you see, the, uh, the East German security service, the Stasi, was very thorough in cataloging jokes that people told. Why? Because the Stasi was like 10% of the country and reported on everybody. They didn't have a sense of humor, I take it. Oh, no, they had a great sense of humor. But they kept track of everybody's jokes. Okay. Um, so number six, would, would the electric vehicles... Oh, oh, we put Ford, huh? Why do Stasi officers make such good taxi drivers? You get in the car and they already know your name and where you live. <laughs> I'm not laughing. It was pretty good. Yeah. <clears throat> no. I have no. a shirt. I have a shirt that says "Dad Joke Champion," and whenever I wear it, uh, people start telling me dad jokes. <laughs> so I went to a diner last week, and the guy says, "What kind of? What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear." Oh, <laughs> that's bad. That's a dad. I joke. should do a category with dad jokes. <laughs> I think we did what's one. The best, what's the best feature for a Trabant? There's a heater at the back to keep your hands warm when you're pushing it. <laughs> <laughs> that one's funny. I like the wheelbarrow one a lot. Too. How do you double the value of a Trabant? Fill it with uh, gas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, it's kind of relevant um come on question three what is the country that has people drive on the right and their steering wheels on the right i, I say bahamas but i don't know I'm just i don't guessing. think it's uh new zealand i i feel like it's an island fiji or the bahamas i don't really care fiji then i think i had go fiji the bahamas you hear about it more people go there on vacation yeah they ride their they're motor mopeds and they get in accidents there. Yeah. On the wrong side of the road. I know that in the Cayman Islands, it's. Oh, wait, are you quiet. feeling more confident about this, Kevin? No, only I know oh. that they, a lot of motorcycle uh, mopeds, they rent mopeds and sure. people get in accidents on the wrong side of the road. The night. <coughs> but I don't know about the cars at all. There's very few cars as far as I know. Okay, I'm bringing Jimmy back to our room. All right. He should be able to tell us how we're doing. Mid sentence, serious. Ta da! Well, How did everybody do? Good. We did. Actually, what actually my bonus has um, two answers. I didn't realize. There's actually two com car companies that have a very similar logo. Well, there you go. Good, so we got it right. You just, double, you just doubled your chances of getting the right answer. We put Hagar the horrible. <laughs> Caspian's been telling been telling jokes about question number. Too. Good stuff. Hey, yeah. Hagar, Hagar was actually the uh, logo of a camp I worked at. They licensed it. <laughs> mm. Yep. I have a photo of uh, the Boy Scouts and at Camp Norse in, Pl in Plymouth, Mass, with uh, Hagar the Horrible. Huh. How do you catch a trabi? <laughs> hey. Chewing gum on the highway. <laughs> 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 That one I like too. He's, he says he's been reading a book on German, German Stabi. Stabi, is that what you call it? No, it was an article that I read a few years ago about a bunch of declassified 
um, intelligence reports from the East German secret police that included files of jokes that people told and got reported to the secret police. Mm. What were you at before you clicked on that? <laughs> <laughs> If I told you, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> that's funny. No, that's, so, that's funny. He was listening to you talk. <laughs> How do you get to something like that? Gosh, we sure had trouble with this one. Ooh. Well, how do you guys do? I think you guys did. I think you did very well. Did we? Uh, yeah. If by really well you mean a spread out range of scores with. No one getting everything. I think you're right. <laughs> I want. I want to hear that. That's good. I want that kind of <laughs> questions. Okay, go ahead, Jamie. Let's okay, the conversations. That's for sure. Is everybody back? Mm -hmm. I think so. Okay. No, no. Okay. I'm not here. Kevin's not here, so ignore him. <laughs> okay. I'll give. I'll give the answers. I'll post the answers afterwards. Okay. Number of one. I wasn't here. When my when my wife and I lived in Jerusalem in the eighties. Um, a very popular car was the Sosita, and camels loved them. And the reason why was they would eat them. The, the cars were made out of fiberglass. Oh and, my God. And you park the car, and uh, you had to be careful because the, car, the camels would walk by you, and start Leonard. chewing on their bodies. I no. told you they either had to eat it or eat them. make with it. That I thought of that. That be good for the stupid to even mention out loud. Wow. We, we got that. We got it. These are camels. We said we came to that. Yeah. Camels that are too easy. stupid yeah. to mention out loud. <laughs> yeah. So it was very popular in the eighties, all around Jerusalem. On every block, there was a body shop patching the bodies after the camels had their day with them. There, that couldn't They're, be good for the camels. Yeah, those Not shops were going around throwing camel pheromones on him or something. <laughs> <laughs> Our goat, our goat ate our car. Our oh, just, um, our car so. Good point, well, Karen. I th well, we get a lot of potholes in our local neighborhood. I think all the automotive stores go and dig them up in the middle of the night to make the potholes. Yes. Uh, that, that, I that, do that apologize. Happens, that, happens that is true. Okay, number two, uh, when, the Berlin Wall, the, when the Berlin Wall fell, a lot of East Germans drove across the border with their little two-stroke East German cars. They're called the Trabant. Travis. Thank you, Thank Leonard. You, How do people know? So if you go to one. East Berlin, yeah, people love now in East Berlin. People love the Trabant, and they're all over the place. There's clubs, the Trabant Club. So it's like the um, what's also very popular in East Berlin are the walk, don't walk signs. So if you ever go to East Berlin, people love these. Soviet era walk, don't walk signs. And so, so did uh, Unified Germany? grandfather them in because I know they can't I have no hope of passing German emissions. Um I don't think I don't I don't I don't know if they did. I, because I, I, um, I think the majority of these Germans dumped them and bought Western cars. And now because I, of it. Yeah. I, re I remember one of the jokes I read initial. was that the longest car on the market was the Trabant. The car was two meters long and the smoke trail was 10 meters long. <laughs> <laughs> They kept them around. They kept them for their kids as toys. That's good. <laughs> Cassie, hey, what about the, do the one about the two tailpipes? They, right. The Trabant comes with two tailpipes so that you can use it as a wheelbarrow when the engine gives out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're pretty bad, apparently. That's good. Cass read a, a book on German jokes. <laughs> a very short book. Number three. Wow. Number, it's pouring here all of a sudden. The sky just exploded. Oh well, all I see is it's raining cars. We don't care. <laughs> yeah, you, you can have the rain. We got enough for where I, I'm at. I, I'm jealous. We need the rain. Go ahead, oh, number three. Number three. In the USA, you guys drive with the steering wheel on the left, and you drive on the right-hand side. Here, we drive on the left, the steering wheel's on the right. There's only one, com one country where today all the cars have steering wheels on the right, but people must drive also on the right. And that's Burma, Myanmar. Oh. Oh. It's not Sweden. And the reason why was because Burma was a former British colony. And ah. after the independence, uh, they were very anxious to shed all of its, their Britishness. Well, people had all these cars that had right-hand drive. So they just overnight said, okay, drive on the right. So, so Jim had the right that. idea. <laughs> oh. They're known... 
Also, they want to see all the advertisements, poems on the side, on the little signs on the road. Burma <laughs> shape. Burma shape. That's, Get that's, it? That's a serious oh, defiance. That's <laughs> awful. Want to be well, make sure you're not a dad. Uh, the advertisements that have the Burma shape. Well, it makes, but it makes driving, when we were in Burma, driving in Burma, it's terrible because imagine a um, two lane yeah. road, one lane each way. Um, if you're behind a car and you want to pass, the idea is the driver wants to be in the middle of the road so you can see when you pass. That's yeah. why the steering wheel on the left, drive on the right. In oh, Burma, be... when you drive, you're on the right-hand side of the car. When you want to pass someone, you have to move the car all the way to be able to see. And so there's head-on collisions very often in Burma. So driving in Burma um, is terrible. Oh, God, yeah. All right. Number four. four. Um, current owners is Penn Gillette, Drew Barrymore, Britney Spears, and my wife. We had one. And it's the uh, Mini Cooper. Oh. Oh. So sorry. We got it. I, I told him it was a Mustang because Whoopi Goldberg and Steve McQueen have Mustangs. Karen, that was you're my right. My to team Karen. Karen. Cooper is lame. Sorry, team. Pendulum. See, I was going to say, I was going to say like Mr. Bean, but you would have gotten right away. Oh, yeah. Pen Gillette can Bean. fit in a mini yeah. Cooper? It's well, a joke. He has yeah, he does. one for each <laughs> foot for about <laughs> a week. In. He pulls himself in. Go ahead. Yeah, he's in the, uh, we, we owned a mini in the States. And um, the pendulum was very famous for being a, you know, an enthusiast for minis, definitely. Thanks for being uh, sweet about it, Peggy. <sighs> she hates you. Uh, number five. <laughs> number five, the only car since the 2000s that still has a flower vase on the dashboard is the Volkswagen Beetle. Ah. Oh, nice. ah. What? Wait a minute. I've had Yay. several of those. Yeah, in um, the older ones from 49 on, you can buy an accessory that clips on. But the new Beetle from 1998 to 2011, the flower vase is built into the dashboard. Mm -hmm. It came standard. I remember. So we had we had five Beetles. No, I remember and, those yeah, too. in the ads you for those. Where they had the relaunch I that. never had one with a flower holder. We or you didn't know that it was a flower old, holder. Old, old that was my old. other thought, but maybe thinking it was a cup holder. <laughs> really? Oh, for no, your but beer. Not. But if you, had a, your if, beer. You had, yeah, if you had the new Beetle from 1998 <laughs> to oh. 2011, right next to the steering wheel, there's a bud vase. It's called mm -hmm. a bud vase. You put flowers in it. So, or you could put a joint in there. It could be a joint holder. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah, it. Joint holder. No, mine were 70s, 80s. Yeah. Oh, oh, but you still buy in the seventies. You clip it on the dashboard. I had a sixty-five that had a bud vase on the dashboard. Uh, number six, EVs and gas hybrids have become very popular. The first hybrid car was produced and sold by Ferdinand Porsche. Porsche. Oh, we didn't get it right. Did we it? got German, but we didn't get the right German. Yeah. Porsche. It was yeah, he was electric, very famous for that. Number seven, uh, the average speed of the first racing car race was 10.2 miles per hour. Oh, oh no. <laughs> they had lost. Wow. What's yeah, the slower than we thought. Should have went with faith. Somebody said 10, 15, and we were like, I should have yeah. gone with my first number. Yeah. 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 Uh, number eight, AC spark plugs were manufactured generally for GM cars. Champion was used by the car makers. AC stands for Albert Champion. Kevin oh, had Kevin had that. Oh, so, I Albert Champion. Knew it. <laughs> so both so both AC and Champion are Champion. Both Champion. Yep. Yeah. Um, Albert Champion founded the company in Boston in 1905. Um, Buick offered um, the company to be exclusive for Buick, so he split the company to sell to Buick. But he couldn't use the champion name, so he renamed his division of this company, this new company, AC. How about that? That's my uh, and he copyright. had, and he had the, he had the patent. Yeah, so he split it off, but he couldn't use it. He used the champion name initially, but he got sued, um, so he had to change the name to AC to sell to Buick exclusively. Ah. Number nine, the first American car was an 1893 first gas-powered car, and it was produced in Massachusetts. 
Oh, we said New York. Close. Devin. Devin, did you know that? Michigan. Oh, no. I said it. Um, number 10 in the USA, most car horns honk in the musical key of F or F sharp. Yay, Yay, Yay Terry. Terry did the experiment. <coughs> I figured it out. We but the reason why size was, of one. Yes, sir. But the reason why was um, to save cost. In order to go and make components um, common between car manufacturers and lower the cost, generally car companies in the U.S. use one key. It makes it simpler and, and cheaper. That's why. And the bonus actually has um, two answers. I didn't realize um, until you guys said it. Um, there's two car companies. So our famous car, the current car company has a stylized Viking ship. It's two companies, Rover is one, and Lada, the Russian yes. Lada. Yes! Number six. Yeah. Oh, we didn't get Good one, Leonard. Yay, yeah, Carl. Oh, let me, I'll post it now. Really good. Good job, Jamie. Good Carl. Job. I'm waiting to get to the last one to see how to spell it. <laughs> we sure did mm -hmm. pull that answer out at the last possible second, didn't we? Okay. Lada, and what was the other answer? Rover. R -O Rover. Rover. Rover, the British car company Rover and the Russian Lada. I've never heard of either of these. Yeah. You've heard, of, heard of Land Rover? Oh, yeah. Okay, oh. that company. Oh. Same company. They make okay. Mini also. Rover, Mini, they're, all the, they're generally the same company. The only Rover I know that related to Britain that I would have thought of would be... Um, You've Britain. heard of Red Rover. Well, I've heard of the <laughs> Prisoner's Rover. Grover on Sesame Street. Oh, not Grover. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. <coughs> Scores. <coughs> Three. Okay, so let's start with Scam Busters, which was Jamie's group. Six. Uh -oh. okay. Six Monterey Bay Bodacious Babes. Deborah, I was gone for part of it. Is Deborah here? Somehow I was muted. Um, two. <clears throat> what? <laughs> Uh -huh. Well, we're all girls. We don't know nothing about cars. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Clarence Thomas, do we get to keep loving versus Virginia? Three. Three. Holy moly. Hey, Palmer's resume isn't looking too bad now, is it, people? <laughs> <laughs> this is us on our best behavior. Thanks. Ooh. And the team I'm I'm next person, the team that I'm adding the next person to. Five. Wow. Ooh, that was tough. Look at that 4.4. 4. Yeah. That was good, Jamie. It was fun and it was hard. Yeah, I like I like in the and doing well by some very strange definition. <laughs> doing well. All right. So good job, Jamie. Yes. I like something different like that and that shirt. That's good. Okay, so we have Robin. Robin, <clears throat> our attorney who's on mute. Let me unmute myself. Okay, so my category is 1970s song lyrics. Right. And, and to avoid saying these th th things with the proper rhythm, I'm just going to cut and paste the entire list of 10 into the chat. Oh, shit. You're going to hear one, you're going to have one line of a song. And you're going to say what the next line is. What about the people who are listening on the recording? We'll have the same in our chat or something. Yeah, there are even, people yeah. who are listening in on a record. Oh, for YouTube. Our, our um, vast YouTube audience. I'll do it. Okay. I'll, I'll do so, it in our, in our room. I can read it off. I can read it off if you want. Um, I'll read it off. Read it, read, read it like a robot. Do you okay. think you can do it without? I pasted it to Google. Number one. I got a brand new pair of roller skates. Oh. Number two. <laughs> Karen's happy. <laughs> <laughs> then somewhere near Salinas, Lord. Number three. Are you going it, to put these in the... In yes, the I am. 
Yes. Number three, <laughs> it never rains in California. Number four, sitting downtown in a railway station. Number five. <laughs> <laughs> Josh. Somebody's not muted. Wait, here comes, right, here comes the guys. mute. Unmute Robin. Okay. We're being we're being joined by Julia, who is a uh um uh, all the way from the Buffalo, New York. Hello, Julia, who just came from karaoke, so she's gonna love this category. Oh, awesome. Hang in there, Julia. I'll put you okay. in. Where was Hi, I? Hi. Uh, after that singing, um, do not sing. Number five, it's such We're a We're supposed fine to be on mute. And natural sight. Number six, there's a port. Repeat that. Wait, wait, wait. Say it again because it didn't come through. Number five, it's such a fine and natural sight. Number six, there's a port on a western bay. Number seven. My motto's always been, when it's right, it's right. Number eight, have a drink, have a drive. Number nine, when I die and they lay me to rest. Number 10, some people claim that there's a woman to blame. And finally, uh, a bonus question. I'll just say it. Uh, my husband and I both have this uh, app called Quake Feed. It's really fun. It tells you all the earthquakes in the world all the time. Oh, fine. And my husband has his set with like push notifications if there's an earthquake over six anywhere in the world. And yesterday it, it buzzed twice. It binged twice. There were two greater than six earthquakes in a single country yesterday. What country was that? That's, that's a bonus song. question. That huh? was a very odd song for the 70s. <laughs> that was a hit in the 1970s, huh? That's the bonus question. Okay. 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 Cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna copy and paste into the chat. So Julia, it's uh, the category uh, fourth roll. category. So you've got a good timing. I'm putting her on. I'm putting her on scam busters because I think they're gonna need it. Because I know, I know uh, the team. That's My team for, certainly needs it. Our team was uh, six Monterey Bay bodacious babes is not gonna need it. Karen's on the team. So all you're gonna need to do is. She's going to cut and paste the first line of a song. You got to come up with the second line of the song. It's 1970 songs. So you guys got it. Okay. Oh, I got to add you guys to teams. Uh, look at how weird this is. This is so strange where it does that. It makes me reassign you guys. Okay. So Ben, you're going to go to five. Caspian, you're going to go to three. Bob, you're going to go to one. Julia, you're going to go to three. Karen, you're going to go to four. Mike, you're going to be at three. Peggy, you're at three. No, four. Four. Four, four, four. Alan R Renami is in five. Robin is in four. Leonard? Five. Five. <laughs> I can't wait you guys in the darn thing. Uh, Janine is one. Jamie is three. And Deborah, last but not least, is in four. Okay, I'm going to four. I'll see you in a minute. Yay! I'm Karen, Karen, I'm just going to assume you're going to get all these, and there's, uh, well, there's two I don't know. Oh dear! Oh dear! But let me pull them up here. I was just going to take a nap. Well, let's have, <laughs> let's have everybody play though. All right, I'll pretend. Number one. I got a brand new pair yeah, of roller, roller skates. skates. You got, got a, brand a brand new, new key. key. Brand new what? I got a brand new pair of roller skates. You got a brand new key. That's right. Okay. I think that we should get together and try them out. You see. You guys, <laughs> you guys can see my screen. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, number two. Th then somewhere near Salinas, Lord. Okay, and, so I'm and it could be letter I, her or him because depends wait, on who's singing. Deborah, I'm confused. I'm sorry. I thought what was shown was the question, but you've already filled in the answer. Some of them. Yeah, yeah. I I didn't get that. Sorry. <laughs> well, I started typing them while I was waiting to come over here. Um. So yeah, I did. Great. But you, you guys tell me know if more you... than you think, though. Okay, so on a western bay. There's a port on a western bay. Da da da. It's a sub. Da, da 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 da. They say brandy. Yep. Fetch another round. There's something about sailors. There's a port on a western bay, and it serves. That's, yeah. Chips a day. So that's right. I think a hundred. Is it a hundred? I think, but good enough for now. There's a port on a western bay, and it serves a hundred a hundred ships a day. Works. This one I do seven. I don't know. I probably. The motto's do. always been when it's right, it's right. La 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 la. la oh, la, something, delight. something delight. Rockets in flight. Mm -hmm. Afternoon delight. That's the one I don't know. That's a song, but what's the next what's line? What's the line? Yeah. My motto's always been when it's right, it's right. Well, Satan, the la la will win the whole month. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> At least you come up with a tune. <laughs> My motto's always been when it's right, it's right. While waiting on you, I love a plug, plug, plug. You guys know more than of these than you think. Well, you gotta sing them. I'm, no, I'm still copying the questions and putting them on the. Um, but then you guys get you, to get, guess the answers. That's the fun part. Well, I was just like listening to you uh, do it. That's fine. Okay, so, um, so is it is it girl? Don't they warn you? That it never rains in California. It never rains in California. Isn't it sunny, girl, California? Don't you know? Yeah, no. But girl, no, it's, but, don't they I, warn you? I think that's what it is. I think it's girl. Don't they warn you? And then this is one took over the line. Brewer yeah. and Shipley, one sh one hit wonder song. That's uh, not uh, sitting downtown in a railway sitting station. Sitting downtown in a railway station, one took over the line. And I'll be waiting one for the train, train that goes on. home, I'll sweet Mary, Mary. Waiting Most for the train that's on time. time. Uh, Jane's the singer in the group here. How come Jane isn't? She doesn't, she doesn't know these songs. She knows <laughs> lovely songs. Not <laughs> yeah, she knows. What's our song? You didn't get to sing these in in, uh, Slo in Slovenia. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. There's a woman to blame, but I know it's my it's own damn fault. fault. Yeah, that's Jimmy Buffett. Some people claim that there's a woman to blame. I don't know. Hell, it could be my fault. I think there's a lot of lines after yeah. that, isn't it? Yes, it, it changes it every time. My own damn fault. Hell, it could be my fault. Yeah, towards the end of the song, it's yeah. I, I have that CD somewhere here, I think. Okay, yeah, so how what's the next one for here. seven? The motto's always been when it's right, it's right. Well, is this why wait until the middle of night? a cold why, why wait until the middle of a cold dark night? Cold dark night. Sky rockets in flight. Afternoon delight. I was a little kid singing these verses about people having sex a quickie in the afternoon, not even knowing what I was saying. <laughs> Didn't we all do that with the religious songs too? Yeah. Really. Songs. Every song is an indoctrination of some kind. Oh, I know. Whenever I was growing up, I remember onward Christian soldiers. So we can rape people, right? Onto, or then you, you, you're, 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 you're like, like, really? I was just singing that? Okay. So Deborah, I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna ask that they go to bat on number two because Chris Christopherson's lyrics have yeah. Bobby as a a woman as a woman i know that's why i put so her the lyric him. is i let her slip away that's the lyric yeah 
people changed it, different artists who recorded it, but the lyric is actually, I let her slip away. Yeah, but when uh, Janis Joplin did it, it, it was the other way. Yeah, but it so. was incorrect. <laughs> I think we can give ourselves a point if it's I let her slip away. Yeah, we, we've had the discussion. It's on videotape now, so. So we want to say her for sure, and just leave it that way? Or you could just put her with an asterisk and yeah. it's her. Fashion will follow. Okay, I got a brand new pair of roller skates. You got a brand new key. Okay, then somewhere near Selena's sword, I let her slip away. I but he says Salinas in the song. I never, it never <laughs> ended, but girl, don't. I also say me. Rodeo and Salinas. <laughs> no yeah, one I else does. <laughs> it's such a fine and everybody's. It's such a fine and dance and natural side. Everybody's dancing. Yeah, everybody, yeah, okay. Everybody's dancing in the moonlight. There's a poor. I never liked that song. And it's. I saw them in 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 Oakland. I think. Okay. I guess I gotta have a posture. Technically, that says on number six, it serves one hundred ships a day. It is a hundred. A hundred ships a day. A hundred. So I think. So I think if someone else says one hundred, they should get it wrong. I like it. It's we we'll got five we'll it. points, women. Yeah, we're, we're going, going to get the wrong way. Play. Take it the wrong way. All right. The Rob what's way. on your left hand side? Is that a ladybug? What? What is that, Cindy? What's that next to you, Cindy? What oh. is, that? is that a ladybug? No, it's a face. The artwork on your on your right, Cindy. We still can't hear you. Oh, you guys can't hear Cindy. Go and see what you find. Go out and see what you find. Is it go out and see what you find? You hear Cindy? I she's just being quiet. Have a drink, have a drive. Go out, go out and see what you can find. Go out and see what you find. Go and see what you find. Is it go out or just go? I think it's go out and see what you can find. Have a drink, I think have I think a drive. Out there. Go and see what you find. Go out and see what you find. Yeah, you're right. It's go out. I think it's out. You're right. Yeah. Cindy, you're have you been able to hear? I mean, can you hear and talk at all? Yeah, I can hear, but I don't know the rest oh, of you. <laughs> you. We can hear you. Okay. I thought they said they couldn't hear you. I didn't hear uh, her say anything. She's not, she's singing in, she's singing in her seat. Like she's you know, remarkably like, modest and quiet. She's like this. Well, she knows we're recording. She doesn't want to sing. No. <laughs> Karen's a liberal. Karen's a hippie. She's okay. This is our chance to, you know, be stars here. I know. Oh, yeah. I always think so. I know them. Everybody else knows them. I never know the hard stuff. No, me neither. Karen, yeah. you know a lot of hard stuff. Don't be ridiculously overly modest. Just yeah, lyrics, but if I know it, a lot of people know it. Yeah, but you always know it better. <laughs> you know it better. <laughs> really good. But you know, Deborah knew a lot of these. So she did. you had some competition tonight. Hey, Deborah. Well, this so is my she... era, you know. And and I knew the Jimmy Buffett song. That's pretty much the only one I was sure of. <laughs> and so Norman you Greenbaum. You cars, can't forgot huh? Norman Greenbaum, the guy with the most Jewish sounding name in the whole entire world. And he's got this Jesus song. That was cracked me up. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys didn't know the automobiles, huh? No. Oh, we pretty much sucked at that category. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad fun though. But you got Sherlock Holmes. We we ace Sherlock Holmes in the rest of the categories. Not so much. Not so much. Yeah, there's going to be way Holmes. too many high scores on this category. I the, bet. You got all these old people in the in this group. What'd you say, yeah, Robin? You, there's going to be or there won't be. There will be too many high scores. Oh, Robin, okay, it's, Robin. It's like you should have done the the I don't know the 80s or 90s. But Robin, yeah. please be strict and specific. Okay, I'll say <laughs> if and, if and you're, have, you don't have the exact words that I put down, you're have Screw. no mercy no mercy because okay. karen's got them Get your prisoners yeah okay so because you know the carl's got them memorized and kevin <laughs> yeah, but, oh, that's yeah kevin's memorized. gonna know these Darn. okay i think i'm gonna close the rooms did you do the yeah. bonus question yet yeah yep. oh did, did we do the bonus question? oh wait no, 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 we haven't bonus. done the bonus wait, it's not up bonus? there but I, ah, how did that did you happen? post it I don't posted know. In the, I posted it in the chat. I got it since oh, yesterday. There were two different earthquakes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I, I just didn't put it on Is there because it, it wasn't the song. It's no, it was, it was chilly. I think. Was it chilly? Because I have that app too. I thought and the I saw Philippines that. just had it. Oh um, yeah, I, 
I thought it was the Philippines. The Philippines, I think, may have also actually. Hang on. Or was that a couple six. days before? Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Philippines or Chile? Mm. The so Philippines might yesterday. have been about three days ago. So if it was yesterday, I don't know. Oh mm -hmm. well, if it was yesterday, it's probably Chile. Hmm. I don't know. I didn't hear either because I'm not as scared of them as I used to be, and I don't pay attention. Well, I'm not scared of them in either of those places. How are we going to decide? How are we going to decide? I think it's Chile because it's Chile. The Philippines Chile. was about three okay. three and days Cindy, ago. Cindy, yeah. when you moved out here, did you think about earthquakes at all? Was that on your mind at all? Actually, no. I didn't think about earthquakes or the fires. Yeah. You're, <laughs> well, you're getting away from about it. You're, you're getting away from tornadoes and hurricanes. You're, you're getting away from fires, Cindy. <laughs> Oh, with them and you snakes. Don't they have America. a lot of? Don't they have a lot of snakes in Houston? Uh, not in Houston itself. And no oh. mosquitoes here. You don't have to worry about mosquitoes. They're very few. Very few mosquitoes. Yeah. And the earthquakes they're aren't deadly. They're just. They're actually kind of cool. The little ones. They feel yeah. cool. Yeah, most of them are fine. Most of them. We most of them are like. Well, we have a lot of flooding. <laughs> Yeah, there's flooding, right? And because uh, we had torrential rains and then the hurricanes. Four, four seconds, two seconds. Bye. Okay. This was hard on my aging brain. Is this a single one? <laughs> so I, uh, <laughs> I have been, I have been encouraged to be very strict about the answers because we're gonna have. No, I think you should. Have, if you have like eighty percent of the words, I think it should count. No, she says she's strict. <laughs> Who said strict? That must be this Karen person. <laughs> Karen or Kevin. A lot of times video. on the song, you Don't can't tell the what they're saying. Don't watch Don't the make of it. Well, the, the difference between non and Ghana sometimes I'm waiting, you waiting, the... you know? <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to be strict. It has to be exactly what I wrote. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I no, disagree. We're not playing. We don't believe in him. It's the man. Anybody... Doesn't matter. We keep our own score. We're just going to score yeah. it. Now, uh, there's. Um... We got 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did too. Yeah, no, we have 11. 10, really us, so. We're at 11. First six will fit in there. This category goes to 11. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, you did all, the, all of them at once. Did, for number no, one, did anyone else watch the, the new season of Kids in the Hall? No. But Robin, also say one. them out loud for the recording. I'll say them out loud. Let me just get seven, eight, nine, and ten and the bonus. Oh. Kids. So here we go. Here's an example. It's you got a brand new key. What if you said you've got a brand new key? Which in the song, I can guarantee you couldn't tell the difference. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you know i can't even be sure if the if the website i got and you know if you listen to let's say be it me and bobby mcgee you know janice joplin sings it different from uh from chris, chris christopherson, christopherson. Yeah. So, who, wrote you know, who wrote the song chris christopherson, christopherson. yeah 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 he lived not famous. far from where i grew yeah. up yeah yeah when chris sings it, Bobby Blake says about him and when janice bobby's a boy yeah exactly right. so the, okay. And then the bonus. Oh, damn it. What? What? How are we getting to bonus? You didn't say the How answer. The bonus? Okay, I've pasted. We're, you're supposed to sing every one of them, Robin. Wait, wait, we gotta go. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, the bonus is Chili. Chile. Oh, yay. yay. Hey, all right. I got a brand new pair of roller skates. I got oh, a brand okay. new pair of roller skates. You got a brand new key. Hold it. Hold it. My friend is her manager, Melanie's manager. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I of, always love that song. He's he's not doing a really so good you'll job. you'll attest you'll attest that it is you got a brand new key. You got a brand new key. We put he's. But got I a think brand you've got key. I think you've got a brand new key is fine. Yeah, you've got a brand new key. Yeah, I, I did a bunch of these musical things about a year ago, and, uh -huh. and it's amazing how many different versions of the lyrics you could find on official sites. That yeah. Have the lyrics. Yeah, yeah. There's specific words being slightly different. Yeah. That's true. So, and and a lot of times you can't really hear the that's lyrics right. and the and that's the where they mess it up because it's not and clear. a lot of times they misspell they, them and use different words to avoid copyright. 
answers. It's getting late. Answers. <laughs> okay, so, so then somewhere near Salida's Lord, I let her slip away. Oh, or him. Her slip away. Him or her. Her. I let her slip away or him. Oh, wait, wait. So the second line could be him or her? Him yes, or because her. if it's Chris Christopherson oh, singing, yay. I let her yeah, slip Bobby. away. Bobby Janis Joplin's it's I let him slip away. <laughs> okay. Bobby okay. is transgender, yeah. Yes. Bobby well, is. Well, I mean, it, it's ambiguous. Oh, it never rains would... in California, but girl, don't they warn you. It pours. Man, it oh, pours. Oh, we left the line out. Uh, yep, left the we line don't have out. to have the whole uh, you rest don't have of to the have song. it pours. No, we just have to have the next line, right? Not like the whole rest of the that's song. That's the name of the song. So the entire that's the beginning. rest of the song for every question. Yeah. <laughs> so so the song starts, it never the, something it never rains in Southern California. But then yeah. later in the song, it's it's it never rains in California. Oh, but girl, girl, don't, don't, don't they, they warn you. Yeah. Yeah, but you said oh, the opening oh, lines. The opening line. No, she no, didn't she say said the line. next. She said the next know. line. Yeah, oh. the next line. I Sitting downtown at a railway station, one took over the line. Almost every team was was mixing that up with a. Uh, I think it's a Paul. That meant Garfunkel. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Bruce I did the same Shipley. thing. Yeah. No, no, we got that one, Kevin. We got, we got it. We got it. But I, uh, but everybody I, got it right in the end. Yeah. Everybody got it right in the end. I think. And the, and there there is another line. I just looked up the lyrics. There's another line that follows "Sitting downtown in a railway station." There's also "Don't you know I'm waiting for the train." Oh, goes so if you if that's what you put, Mary. then yeah. you're okay. It's such a fun yes, and natural it goes sight. Home sweet Mary. Everybody's dancing, dancing in, in the moonlight. moonlight. Dancing in the moonlight. Everybody's <laughs> feeling. <laughs> yeah, I'll make it. Uh, you make it. I'll give you. I'll let you decide how close you were. <laughs> yeah, there's a port. On, on a, a western, western day, day, and it's so <laughs> you know, a hundred ships, ships a day. day. I, I got the next part, but I could not get that next line. Yeah, we didn't get that. If one. you wrote the number one zero zero, that is incorrect. It is a hundred, <laughs> not one hundred. <laughs> and and that all has to be spelled U H, uh, <laughs> not a hundred. My motto's always be been when it's bright, it's bright. Well, well, you have to do 70s about cold dark. No, I, if it was 60s, oh, I would have done freaking better freaking or 80s, better. but I really didn't know very much. The 70s, really oh, bump. Hey, oh, this is just. <laughs> Uh, now, we're, now we're gonna get a copyright violation. Now we got a copyright BCMA violation. Sorry, tell her I, I paused. I paused. She, she, uh, she stopped recording. I stopped recording. You know, I'm down. It's okay. Susan, can you uh, send me the link uh, so I can send it to yeah, you? The event's gone off Facebook for some Yeah, it says that the oh. event ended on Facebook. So I can't see the link. Oh, well, I guess we'll have to get her over there. Hold on a second. Inside. So how do these YouTube two videos that I'm linking? How do they not have copyright violations against them? By ping. By ping, okay. And that's why they have hands okay. on them. So when I'm I, gonna go. We're gonna just. Do we do scores? We didn't do scores. We haven't finished. We're finished. not done. We haven't finished. Oh, I thought we finished. No, well, they're all. Oh, the, no, we're yeah. on number well, seven. It seems like it's taking that long. <laughs> <laughs> like on number ten, there you have three different lines. So yes, because even, because the it's a the, it's in three different verses or right. three number different eight. choruses, and there's a different ending each time. Yeah, so well, eight, sing number eight. eight, sing number nine. Number eight, have a drink, yeah. have a drive, go, go out and see, see what, what you, you can, can find. find. Mungo Jerry, Mungo Jerry, that was. Oh, I die and they lay me to rest. I'm gonna go to the place that's, that's the best. The best. I that one. Good old Norman Greenbaum. Norman Greenbaum. <laughs> Some people claim that there's a woman, woman to, to blame. blame. But I know <laughs> it's my own damn my fault. My own damn fault. <laughs> Jimmy. Chile. Okay. And I have that app too. Fault, when you said and, that, I'm like, um, I saw that on my app. There's a, there's a ding, ding, ding <laughs> noise that. Um, but Robin, that, they, were all, they were earthquakes in the Philippines for the last three days. Yeah, there were. Over six? Yeah, were they over uh, it was, Yesterday it was seven. 
Really? Yeah, there oh, were yeah. some. There were some there too. Let me see. Yeah, really bad. So I'm trying to see. Yeah, yesterday was seven. It was really, actually very. Quite a few people got killed yesterday. Two uh, days before. Yeah, but, your, your um, yesterday is a building. different yesterday than us. Hmm. I know. <laughs> Which that. one can you edit the pages of, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> Well, so Chile, Chile was 6.1, 6.2. Where was it in Chile? Uh, oh, I put the two names of the two towns right in the in the answer there. Oh. Tupoco okay. and Tomate. one of them was out in the ocean. Jerry Seinfeld tells a story about Nam and Greenbaum. Uh -huh. says, Nam and Greenbaum says, "I own a house. I own a summer house. I wrote one song." <laughs> Um, let's see. Catchy. Hey, I hey, see the you, Philippines you, on July 26, okay. the day before. There was one that was seven. <laughs> I don't see any others. Yeah, the Philippines was a couple days ago. Remember, Jamie's in a different time. Oh, yeah, Dolores. Yeah, Jamie's, Jamie's, I'm in a different time zone. The answer oh, yeah. we're looking for is or different world. Mm -hmm. Speaking yeah, of so money on one thing, did you? Doesn't I matter. Read, I think we got 10 on that round anyway. I just read right? how much Andy Weir made for selling the screenplay for Project Hill okay. Mary. Yes. Ten million dollars. Million Three million dollars. Three. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised. He's probably going to get some other kind of residual rights. So what are you okay. going to get for the rights for your YouTube channel, Susan? Okay. For this show? <laughs> oh yeah, billions and billions. <clears throat> Three Stanley Nichols and a fruit box. Okay, so let's go with Scam Busters. Seventeen. We got ten. Ooh. I think it's going to be all tens. See, I put Julia on chance. the team. That's why you got no. it. Uh, I think it didn't help at all. <laughs> six Monterey Bay bodacious babes. Ten. Eleven, really, but. <laughs> I'll take eleven. Um, <laughs> uh, this is not so oh, no, no, going up. Hey, Clarence Thomas, to keep loving versus Virginia. Eight. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Oh, you're tying yeah, for the time. The music Ooh, that. That. This is us on our best behavior. Four. Oh. oh I wish you would have got a five. What? Yeah, we, had, we had some where a couple of the words were off. So oh, I didn't give it to us. Excessive, excessive on. honesty. Two, two, two. Two? Seven. Really? No. Seven. <laughs> we're going to make it all be tied. Seven. I, <laughs> I was willing to go with two. That'd be funny. Which, which, uh, all right, Carl. Wait a minute. I heard a discrepancy. Did you say eight? Eight is what I got. So I, I didn't think we got uh, three, six, or seven. Which of those do you think we got? But girl, don't they warn you? We got which that. One, which one is that? Three. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. I wrote it pours man and pours. I wrote it down wrong then. Oh, no, no. That that's was the, someone after. That's the line after. after that. But what we put was, but girl, don't they warn you? Okay, yeah, we were just writing we, that's that's put the, we put that the was the only thing that was that. in the answer. So we got eight then. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to our final round. We've got a tie, and then we got almost what? a tie. What? What? 27, 27, 27. 27, 27. Back up. 27 is a weird. I didn't see the scores. Rock and roll. And, and then 33. Time. Where are the scores 32. Up 32. 32. 32. 32. No, so so we got we so eight. Susan, we got eight for four. Well, I heard you guys arguing about it, and then it resolved on eight. I never heard that. I heard two first. <laughs> we got twelve on us. They changed their score <laughs> three times. Well, let's keep changing the score. Okay, so bonus, faith, faith. Okay, so we are doing limited edition and promotional Oreo cookie flavors. Oh. So I was able to figure out with a lot of research, there have been 90 varieties. Oh my God. Um, oh my God. So oh no. There actually are probably more than that, but I left it to just less cookies. <laughs> Bizarrely, I was going to do this when I was in the store just the other day, food shopping. I couldn't believe how many Oreo things there were. Remember when, yeah. whenever Kevin did mono rules? Of course, I didn't pay I, any I attention decided, to them. So. I have decided not to do mono rules, and I'll explain why. Yeah. So here are the rules. So promotional and limited edition flavors only. I don't need oh. to know if it's the thin variety or the stuffed version. And yes, stuff is spelled correctly. I have some right here. It hey, double easy. stuffs don't count though, right? Because those double are not stuffs don't count. And honestly, um, so like okay. if the flavor is um, and there's a misspelling in there, apologize about that. But say like the flavor is chocolate, 
I don't care if it's chocolate double stuff or chocolate thins. Um, it just, I just need the flavor chocolate. Um, also promotional items. These could be like, let's say Star Wars had their own Oreo cookie and they actually haven't. I checked and I looked. There's never been like Star Wars cookies with like the Death Star on the back of it. So if a TV show, a movie, anything had their own cookie, this included on this list. Um, and this is um, cookie limited edition flavors that had been made permanent one time and then Oreo decided to discontinue them. They are on this list. So I'm confused. Cookie. There are too many rules. So wait, wait, TV ones do count? Movie ones do promotional. count? Promotional. So these are promotional and limited edition. Oreo decided <coughs> these. They were on shelves for a period of time. At this point, there are only a couple of varieties, like I believe three on this list because you can actually go buy them in stores right now. So if you've been in the aisle, I have included the limited edition Oreo flavors that if you were to go to your grocery store and they have it in stock, you could purchase it, but they won't be there till at the end of this year. They're gonna go away. Um, anywhere in the world or? No, just in the United States. Yeah. And I'm, I'm specifically saying I've excluded flavors that were not made available in the US. Okay. So these are flavors you probably may not have been able to taste because you may not have been able to purchase them, but they were made available. So this could have been a promotional cookie. Okay. Um, and so is, is, if something is seasonal, does that count in this? No, I specifically, I'm not including your seasonal varieties like your spring, oh, Halloween, oh, winter, yeah. or summer. Monkey pox. Um, double delights <laughs> version, because there was some called double delights where there was two flavors swirled together, but classified as a double delight. Um, duos or twist variety and fudge covered cookies are not included. Um, oh. Yeah. <laughs> So could you say what the question is again? <laughs> I want you to the, the any promotional and limited edition flavored Oreo cookies. Flavors. So basically we're looking for flavors. Basically we're looking for a flavor. So if they made a toothpaste flavored Oreo, that would be one of them. And I don't, don't care. Don't give anybody hints. <laughs> rest. I want to rest. One. People yeah. are brushing their teeth. <laughs> and, and, you know, and stuff like, you know, you've seen somebody say like spam flavored Oreos. Those aren't a real thing. This actually had to be a product that you could purchase at your at your grocery store or at a grocery store. In, in other words, don't be making stuff up. And I am going to do a little bonus part on here. There are two flavors that when I saw them in the store, I had to have these and try them, even if they were absolutely disgusting. And I actually liked them. So if these two cookies happen to be on your list, you will get an extra point. Oh. Can we go back to music? <laughs> we just, can we name? Can we no, name we, we have to do these random, wild, weird categories. That's what can we name why flavors of Cheerios instead. This no. is yeah. you and the song from being a normal like, trivia game. I got a brand new pair. You should try that, Mike. <laughs> I got an Oreo. One took over the line. Here we go. In the chat room so we can argue there. All right, um, here it comes. My team is going to lose me. Wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not of Oreos. It's getting very. <laughs> All right. Bye. So. Bye. All right. Bye bye, everybody. John. Well, I just think I think I think it's I think it's sacrilegious to have to have Oreo cookies that aren't just regular Oreo cookies anyway. But um, not, do, not all of us are religious. Orange. There's been orange or marmalade. Like, I was going like say, I asked my wife because she works at Walgreens if they have any promotional uh, things there now. So now I don't know whether this counts. There's gluten free. That's not there's a flavor. Flavor. All right. Um, Pride. And there's a a, a a promotion. There's a pride. Um, this is a pride, okay, not a flavor. Yeah. But did well, you say but... flavor or just a promotion? You said yeah. flavor. No, it does say promotional. I it's think Oreo promotional. cookie flavors. But That's it says the in the next line, promotional and limited edition flavors only. Flavors. Well, we need to get a clarification on that. Well, she said flavors. Well, is I mean, try to flavor. I mean, they have it Halloween. They have orange. Right. That, and she uh, said, ex thought... she said explicitly, not seasonal. Yeah, and pride would be right. Seasonal. Which pride fits more along so in those I seasonal? I think marshmallow, options. and I think orange, because I've seen the orange. 
like you know i remember there was a dark i remember there was a dark chocolate they have at uh, St. Patrick's Day. They have they have the green stuff. Peppermint. Uh, no, no, again, no seasonal. holiday stuff. But that's a peppermint. What the? What else are you gonna have? I don't understand. And what else? How else? What else do you have another flavor for? You have it for a special occasion like what that, else? or because they wanted to try something new and and get more shelf space, like dark you chocolate. Many, but how many did she say that that they had? They they're they're more fine. creative than you think. 30 or 80 uh, or that, that, that many flavors don't even exist. What, okay. Ramiro? I'm glad you're not a cook. Neapolitan. Neapolitan? She, Is that a yeah. flavor? She yeah, she bought it recently. Like. Ooh, ooh, Neapolitan. He knows she bought it. Wait, do we have it yeah, in here? No. Is this is this allowed? Yeah, yeah, so I'm not sure that's allowed because it says no twists, duos, or double the lights. I don't know what that even means. Oh. Yeah. How about peach? I I know that she bought candy corn. I don't know if that counts. Yeah, candy yeah, corn. Yeah, definitely. That's and another one that I think was two flavors, but yeah, it's good. And she also um, bought pumpkin spice, I think. Pumpkin oh, well, yeah, that's always. Well, that's but seasonal. Is that like a seasonal? See, these rules make it really tough to know yeah. which ones qualify. That, that sounds which ones seasonal. Don't. Um, I think there was a cotton candy one. I have that on the list. Oh, you I do? I have chocolate, chocolate toffee, I think, because I just bought it. Uh, it's pretty good. Birthday cake. I think right. she also bought uh, watermelon. Yes, I remember watermelon. Yeah. Does birthday cake I think we... the colored sprinkles or something like that? What? Does birthday, birthday cake, cake I have on there, too. Is it no? Is that with like colored sprinkles and stuff or what? Yeah, I mean that one's tough because I don't know if it's. I think it actually tastes like. But that's seasonal cake. too. My birthday oh, comes yeah. once a year. Yeah. yeah, but fortunately, other people exist in the world. Right. Thank you. There's there's also mint. Oh, mint. That's good. We have peppermint. I think that isn't yeah. that different. Mint is mint is a different one. Like a, yeah, it's a different yeah. kind of thing. They'd but do we like think a, mint and peppermint? or yeah. separate because i know mint is typically the one that's green colored but yeah. then peppermint there's probably a pepper the one with I actual think, peppermint chunks in it i think there was a gingerbread oh yes mm, i believe you're awful. correct no gingerbread is good i think we already have how 10. about fruit cake <laughs> fruit cake right <laughs> we have 11 they're Susan, very get, Susan, they're really, get out of here. They're we too, they're too heavy your... for the shelves. The, the fruit <laughs> cake ones are too heavy to go. We don't on the need shelves. your fruit cake. Uh, How about apple? In here. We've apple already got pie. too many. I'm yeah, we're gonna take one out. I think we should take out Neapol Neapol Neapolitan because that's not really a flavor. I think we should take out either mint or peppermint. Probably uh, mint, because I'm pretty sure peppermint I think was one. Oh, no, mint, mint, mint. mint are two different things, though. Yeah, mint, I mean, if, if I bought mint ones, mint you're going to get if you have at at uh, at uh, St. Patrick's Day. If you know, if that doesn't that. count, if you can't use that, then that's you know. But it's I'm, mint. I'm glad that you have the you have decided the rules for when um, the Oreo distribution. Uh, assigns flavors. Well, that's the same with candy corn. That'd be Halloween. Yeah, uh, um, unless it isn't. Yeah, I don't know if it if that was a specifically a a Halloween one or not. Orange, and a lot of orange, these orange is Halloween. Or orange comes out every year at Halloween. Right. Or were you saying orange the flavor or just yeah, orange the color? Orange the flavor. Well, so. Oh, <laughs> I guess here's, it's an orange. I think, they, an I think they, they put these out for like a month. Yeah. Okay. Faith is right here. You can ask her. But then again, what's seasonal? I, right. I, that's it, just, it, the, 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 the what's considered it's seasonal not right versus not is really becoming um, a, I specified a pain. Seasonal are what we call the spring, Halloween, summer, um, the so, winter cookie. So this is just your regular, it would be like your regular sandwich. A normal cookie. Oreo, but a different design on a it. A normal Oreo where they just change the color of the cream and they have like uh, bunnies on the back for spring or 
pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns on the back for Halloween. These are cookies they've regularly released annually. So they're in their rotation. Okay. But what about something that's a flavor that is potentially a flavor that might correlate it, with a holiday it, that might only be around around that time? If it, because the, these packages will literally say limited edition. Limited edition. Mm -hmm. um, so some of these, so some flavors beyond just your regular, um, your regular vanilla cream, they actually do have a rotation, I think, of about maybe nine or 10 flavors of other cookies that they make permanent. So they're available year round. <laughs> <laughs> I, you can buy these at any point in time that that clarified it like a, a mud pie <laughs> tiramisu put tiramisu tiramisu right. sounds good well when you got I love that tiramisu. How, how many, uh, uh, faith how many did you say they had how many different now uh, there's, this... there's 90 varieties that they've introduced that and are you... that you cannot of, of those 90 varieties i think 87 of them you cannot purchase in stores right now. There's three flavors that they have right now that are limited edition that you're able to purchase. Um, so those, so we, any of those 90 though, we can use? Any of those 90 you can use, yes. Well, oh, then you can name just about every flavor and, and there's probably something. Dirt, <laughs> mud, mud, <laughs> toothpaste. Well, we got right here, this list is 11. So out of this list here, what do we not like? But remember, the, some of these flavors, the, some flavors, they, if, they've, if they're selling them because they're a permanent rotation, like, you know, the double stuff, the double stuff version is a permanent rotation. It's always available. It's always available. Always available so, means it's disqualified? Yes. Mm-hmm. See, I don't know. Something like birthday cake may be available all the time and always in there. So that could be off the list. I don't know. Is that a flavor? I think the main Well, you know what? I tried tiramisu. Why not? I mean, it's... well, we're supposed to be taking something off. So we have to take something. We've got 11. I would take menthol because I think it's always available. I, yeah, mint. Every time I've gone to the Oreo section, mint. Is there? I'm going to go stare at the Oreo section now. I've never really looked at it. I've always bought just the regular boring kind. Okay. How's everybody? Then, oh, dang it. My favorite, just are left. The, uh -oh. My favorite are the uh oh Oreos. Yes. Uh oh Oreos? Yeah. Vanilla cookies and chocolate cream. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Toffee crunch, I'm positive on because I just bought that pack recently. So I, I haven't been in a store like a... in weeks. Must be nice. <laughs> the the Oreo, that. I mean, at this point, Oreo almost has its own aisle separate from the rest of the cookie section because there's so many damn varieties, just like cereal. Cereal's like, Two sides yeah. of the aisle now. Remember like when you did sides. Cheerios? Kevin did Cheerios. Yeah, that was oh good. Oh my gosh! No, no idea. Um, I thought someone did. Kevin Cheerios. do Cheerios? Was it? I, no, I think it was Kevin. Mike. Oh, Mike! Mike Wolf. Did. Mike did Cheerios. <laughs> the things we've learned in trivia. <laughs> Cotton oh, candy Lord. again. I know a lot of these are valid Oreo flavors. It's just whether or not they're considered permanent or and whether we're going to get a point for that or not. Yeah. Wafer Watermelon, flavor. definitely. I'm pretty sure gingerbread, yeah. Candy corn. So yeah, I see what she's saying about the seasonal. The seasonal versions are no change in flavor, just they actually change the design on the cookie Oh, part. like just adding some. It has like it has a a rabbit or an egg during Easter, or you know, it has a, a ghost or a bat outline during Halloween. Those so are the those, ones that she's not counting. She's not counting. It's right. Those are the seasonal ones. But if it's an actual like specific flavor, 
uh, not just a change to the design, the look of the cookie, if it's an actual flavor change that isn't a permanent always available on the shelf. I think I finally understand the, the <laughs> method to her madness. But, mo but most of these are not available. Yeah. Well, like she said, it, just, it depends on your store. Some stores are not going to have like 80 varieties. They're going to have four or five. Well, like what we just like, mentioned, what we took off was mint because mint like every time I'm in the store, mint is on the shelf next to, um, you know, double stuff. Oh, so so we're supposed to take. So we remove. I, I, I'm, I remove I'm happy mint, with this. but yeah, I, at this point, we could bash our heads against the wall trying to double, triple check everything. At this point, I just we could be done with it. All right, I got to take this rest away off. All right, so we we ready to go back. Is there like a cherry yeah. or something? Like, would there be a cherry or? A... We 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 have enough. Yeah, there probably enough. would be cherry. But are they good though? That's. I've never seen a cherry. Not to say that there aren't any, but I've never seen one. She said there's ninety. Yeah, I'm sure That's there's. I've never, quite seen, a bit I've never out seen. I've never seen most of those. So. Yeah, I've seen most of these that we have on the list. I have encountered or actually tried myself. I tried in shape or I try and avoid them because uh, I'd get into trouble if I bought them. You like the Hydrox. The who? The Hydrox. Hydrox. That's Cookies. what we actually had growing up because they actually predate Oreo. People well, say that Hydrox are the knockoff and Oreo actually copied Hydrox. The reason that uh, Hydrox are superior is they have a Hexer. <laughs> nice. I don't get it. That's a... If you're keeping they're kosher, kosher. if you keep yeah. kosher, you can have them. Yeah. Um, Otherwise, there's lard in the there's lard in the other ones. No, there's in, there's insufficient payoff to the rabbis. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's large ass. It has nothing to do with what's actually in them. Yeah, but Hydrox is what we always had growing up, and I was always like, Mom, why aren't you buying Oreos? And then, sure enough, you find out later, oh, Hydrox actually was around before Oreo. All right, so let's go back. I got to look now. I got to look up the, the dates exactly. now that we. We have fireworks happening over here still. Hey, look, we're back. Hey, look, it's the team I was just on. My cats come running in. I, I want to know. I want to know about the various uh, Hydrox flavors. There aren't any. I don't think. I don't know of any. Uh, I was very surprised. Alternate Hydrox flavors. Wow, Hydrox is over a hundred years old. Yeah. And they, you know, they they don't need to be. Uh, uh you know flashy because they're uh religiously certified mm -hmm. i i've never heard of a hydrox cookie ramiro do you oh. want to go downstairs in the pantry and get the you've flavor? never heard of a hydrox cookie no boy a shanda <laughs> <laughs> terrible they, pre they predate oreo yep that's what i was just talking about carl generic brand yeah generic I have so some, everyone I dissed, dissed Hydrox as being the uh, being the copy, but there you go. There's a Hydrox. Oh, oh my God. God. Was a Hydrox Never even, I don't think I've ever even seen that picture before. Really? I don't think hail it's Hydrox. Good. Hail Hydrox. <laughs> it was so much better. I, I, like really I didn't know a single flavor of Oreo, but I knew. I Hydrox. thought that was something you took for COVID. <laughs> Are you afraid of eating a Hydrox cookie? Because I feel like it. It dissolved my mouth or something? I... <laughs> Hydroxychloroquine? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> peroxide. Uh, Notice how, how it said shiny. made with real sugar. Yes. Like they have to put that on there. Made with real sugar, not fake sugar. Not corn syrup. Counterfeit. Um, Counterfeit. Made with real food. 
You meet it. Not here evaporated comes, here, comes, here comes Romero with with the ones. Look at not evaporated. Oh, there tangers. is Neapolitan. Yes. Oh, and I was, you, he's those been eating those I all saw. week, and he didn't even get them for his team. <laughs> what? I saw those are the ones I saw at the store. I'd forgotten. Oh, I, I knew I'd seen some stuff. weird Oreos. So are you guys ready? I have yeah. a, I'll share the spreadsheet with you later, Susan. Okay. But um, which team wants to go first? Oh, Jesus. Oh, here I'll, I'll I'll run it. So we got. Uh, we don't team... need to do that if it's not mono rules. You can go go. Yes, you do. Because there's ninety, flavors, there's 90 so. of them. There's ninety yeah. cookie flavors. Okay, so oh, go. Yeah. We'll go for no, us on our best but behavior. Actually, we'll what, I can, what Pagus, I can do. Pagus, try. No, <laughs> no those okay. aren't ours. <laughs> well, hold on, Abbott. I'm going to go through the list. The current thirteen flavors that um. No, here go. Just go with the team that's the lo lowest place. Okay. Go ahead. okay that, would be, that would be this is us on our best behavior, your own team. Okay. Who's going to read them off? I will. Okay. Ben? Uh, we have birthday cake. Uh, that is not a limited edition flavor. Yeah. Uh, toffee crunch. Uh, mommy? I believe toffee crunch is. No, it's not. Toffee Crunch is not. Actually, the is website. It always available? Yeah. Toffee Crunch is a regular flavor. If you go to Oreo, Oreo oh. flavors, and then you guys Oreo limited edition. I double checked and cross reference articles. Limited Toffee edition Crunch. can go be limited yeah. somewhere else. Toffee Crunch was released in 2020 or 2021. And it's They're so good, though, because yeah. we have a. Uh, we have all right, you guys don't argue about each one. We'll all candy. night. Actually, I think it'll go faster. Even with 90, if say you just read it because we okay. don't have our list. So if you have birthday cake, if you have birthday cake, chocolate, mint, coconut, hazelnut, java chip, toffee crunch, dark chocolate, chocolate peanut butter. Too fast. Pie. Too, too fast. fast. You got to pause between each one because some of them fast. could be a okay. combination. Can birthday you share cake? your screen with the list. These don't count though, right? Yeah. these. Oh, I could do that. Yeah. Give me can one can you just read the ones that count? Yes, I can. But not so fast. <laughs> okay, hold on. You're trying to be crazy. Okay. I can't believe I've done a hundred. All right, are you guys ready? Yeah. I don't know. It depends on what you're going to do. I'm going to read the list of flavor, limited edition flavors. Thank you. Android. Android had a promotional Oreo made for... Just, just, just read it. Just, just read it. Apple cider donut. Apple Dude. pie. Banana split cream or banana split. Batman. Berry Burst Ice Cream, Berry, Blueberry Pie, Brookie O Brownie, Brownie Batter, Candy Corn, Caramel Apple, Cherry Cola, Choco Brownie, Chocolate and Vanilla Triple Double Oreo, Chocolate Mint, Chocolate Strawberry Oreo, Cinnamon Bun, Coconut, Cookie Butter, Cookie Dough, Cookies and Cream, Cool Mint, Cotton candy, creamsicle, double Oreo, Chiara Ferragini. She had a promotional um, one. Dulce de leche, Dunkin' Donuts mocha, Easter egg Oreo. These were in the shape of hey. Easter eggs. Filled cupcake Oreos, or I would accept Hostess cupcake because they were based off that flavor. Firework Oreo, fruit punch. Hey. Fruity crisps or fruity pebbles. Game of Thrones, gingerbread, <laughs> good humor, strawberry shortcake, hot cocoa, how to train your dragon, ice cream Oreo rainbow sherbet, kettle corn, key lime pie, Lady Gaga or the Chromatica Oreos, lemon meringue, lemon twist, limeade, the love Oreo, Maple cream, marshmallow crispy Oreo, or I would have taken Rice Krispie treats. Marshmallow moon Oreo for the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. Mickey Mouse, mint oh. chocolate chip, Mississippi mud pie, mocha caramel latte, churro, Oreo's 110th birthday confetti cake cookie. DQ Blizzard cream cookies, the Oreo pride pack, PB&J, peanut butter and chocolate, 
peeps, peppermint bark, pina colada, pistachio, Pokemon X, pumpkin spice, red velvet, Reese's peanut butter cup, Ritz and Oreo cookie, Rocky Road Trip or Rocky Road, root beer float, s'mores, salted caramel, salted caramel brownie, spicy hot cinnamon, SpongeBob, strawberries and cream, strawberry cheesecake, strawberry frosted donut, and strawberry milkshake. Supreme Oreos, Swedish Fish Oreo, the Ooh. American Cream or Team USA or Olympic Oreos, tiramisu, toasted coconut, triple double Neapolitan Oreo or the Neapolitan Oreo, the ultimate chocolate Oreo, waffles and syrup, and watermelon. <laughs> Oh my god. Mm. We got it. Was was peanut butter on the list? Uh no. No. Nope. Peanut butter is a regular rotation flavor. What about carrot cake? Carrot cake is made permanent. Uh -huh. It used to be a limited edition, but it's it it's done popular. And so birthday cake, chocolate, mint, chocolate hazelnut, java chip, toffee crunch, dark chocolate chocolate peanut butter pie, peanut butter, carrot cake, chocolate marshmallow, caramel coconut, and lemon are not excluded. Those are excluded. And what was the bonus one? Wait, 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 are not excluded? Now they, you can feel they them. are excluded. They are, the, they are the normal Oreo flavors that you can buy year round. So what was our bonuses? The bonus is if you had Swedish fish or the um, peeps. Yeah. Oh, Wait, what, oh was gross. what was the yeah. bonus question? It was the two Oreos that when I saw them, I had to have them because they're my favorite candy. So if we put Swedish fish down, which we did. You get a one, bonus point. Yeah. In addition to the original points, we get two yeah. points. Oh, right you mm -hmm. didn't have to guess as number 11 what. Right. Okay, got it. So uh, Faith, yeah. just if you can say it in a very brief way, how do you define something that was a holiday Oreo that would necessarily exclude some of the things that are holiday candies that were actually included, like uh, caramel corn or pumpkin spice. Those, or whatever. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have excluded those. It's. The, but the I mean, to me, ones. those are holiday things. But they're so, limited, and like pumpkin spice Oreos don't come out every year. The the difference is some of the holiday themed Oreos have no change in flavor it's just a change in design to the cookie to add yeah like halloween has a bat or a pumpkin and, things and like oreo, that on it and those are part of oreo releases those every single year so like the the oval easter shape the egg shaped ones are not easter holiday ones they're well, they limited had, yeah and they had an easter egg shaped one that they released i want to say in 2020 or 2021 and they haven't released them again Okay. All right. So it doesn't mean that they never are, that they aren't released during a holiday or that they don't look like a yeah. holiday. It's just and, that they're right. Okay. And that red seems... velvet, yeah, red velvet actually was a limited edition that they brought on full time and then they discontinued it in 2020. Got I can't it. believe we spent 20 minutes talking about Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to go look and see if they actually sell them. <laughs> you guys are weird. Okay. Let's do scores. Yeah. So Oops, I hit the wrong thing. I was going to send you guys back to your rooms. Wow. So, oh, and I wanted to point out that Julia here, she's going to be looking for a roommate for PsyCon. Just saying. We'll find you one, Julia. Don't worry. But I'm just putting okay. it out there. Excellent. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, this is us on our best behavior is five, right? What? I came up with five. Oh. Right? Um, we had Neapolitan you... peppermint. I was keeping track. I have Cotton candy. Candy. candy corn, watermelon. We had gingerbread. Neapolitan, gingerbread. Did we get peppermint or was is it peppermint bark? So there peppermint doesn't smaller. count. It's peppermint bark. Okay. We had five. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go with, hey, Clarence Thomas, do we keep loving versus Virginia? Okay. If our first one was mint and our second one was chocolate chip, can we have one point? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Otherwise, we have zero. Hold on. We have zero. 
You said mint chocolate chip, but we put them too I if think... they were two. Yeah. If those, if that's the only point you have, I'm fine with you having a point for that. <laughs> that's the only point we have, which is why we're asking for it. Right. We'll, we'll, we'll give it to you. We'll give it to you. Carl the okay. Merciful. Scam busters. Six. Wow. Ooh. No. Oh. They spend wow. too much time in the Oreo. Wow. You guys, they spend too much time in the Oreo aisle. Don't be, don't be, don't be too excited. Uh, six Monterey Bay bodacious, bodacious babes. I think we had four. So we had double points for Swedish <laughs> fish. Share number. Yeah. So, so did we get any right, Carl? Any at all? Five. Zero. Yeah. All right. Still, well, we got not... four, but we also had Swedish fish. So five. Yeah, that's what so, I got. Five. Points. I can't believe somebody bought that. They no. That sounds Kroger. Like... Kroger was the only one I think that, or it was Target sold. And it, it tastes right. like Swedish fish. It tastes like Swedish fish. But Swedish it... fish is a candy. It's. I mean, it's. It's like gummies. It's not yeah. like uh, sardines. It's a snow cone flavor. Yeah. I was going to say, that might be a tough one, because so, as I much like as I like Swedish fish. fish, I don't know if I want my cookie I tasting like, like a Swedish fish. I like Swedish fish, but I don't want it. Well, I the thing is, the Swedish, the Swedish fish don't really have a much of a flavor of their own anyway. Yeah, they were with oh, the chocolate. cherry. They have yeah. red flavor. Yeah, they, yeah, they have the red moon, flavor. The moon landing so, cookies were actually... So what did fireworks flavor. taste like? They have pop that. rocks in them. Yeah, they have pop rocks in them. Oh, my gosh. I thought they, they banned pop rocks. I'd, I'd like that. Back. All right. So the team that I'm adding the next person to is the winner tonight. <laughs> 38 points. But it was it was hard fought for the, for a while. So great that was really, fun. really fun. I don't have anybody for next week. So you have me. Next week? I told you last week I'd do he next did. week. He did. He did. Carl. Tell you okay, week. Carl. I have Carl on next week. Is anybody else going to do around next week? Karen's gonna Karen. do it now. Way to go, Karen. I got one half. Peggy, do I hear Peggy? Oh, Alan, oh, are you doing it? I got, I got a couple. No, no, no. Uh, good night. I'm going to Hi, I got Alan. downstairs. I'm going downstairs night, to the Oreos. So who else do I have for next week? I'll do the bonus next week. Okay. Rock I have one up bonus. my sleeve already written. Mm. Okay, uh, I need two more. I got one half written. I can finish it by next week. Kevin. Oh, Carl, Karen, Kevin. We're doing the Kyle, KKK. come on, Kyle. I'm actually going to be <laughs> out next K-Night. week. Oh. Oh, boo. Deborah, Janine. Uh, no. I have one ready if no one else steps up. Okay, I'm putting you in. Oh, I do too. So. Okay. I always have one, Susan, whenever you need it. Okay, so I will have, I'm going to put Rob because he said it right before the other two and I started rating it. But I will put, I will put Gail and Robin on the phone, Gail and um, Piggy on the next week. All right, thank you guys. You're wonderful. I just right. discovered some big huh. news. What? Huh. The identity of the Somerton man has been uncovered. Oh, that's oh, yeah. yeah, I oh, found yeah. that a couple days ago. Isn't no, that amazing? You're ahead of me. I was yeah. just talking about it with Richard. Hi, how sure are they are, are, are how sure are they are? I didn't read the articles. I just saw Oh, I read article. it. It's really good. How sure are I mean they? everything's preliminary, like they need to double check this, but it sounds right on. Yeah, they've been, they've been, that's a mystery. They've been around for a long time and it's so exciting. People not know what is it? What is it? I've never heard What's of it. Maybe they're like, can tell us about oh, it. I will tell you, there is a Wikipedia page for this. So a man was found on a beach in Somerton, Australia. It's a beach in Australia in 1946, I think, or 48. We I have think that either as a category, the, the, right? The Skeptic Zone or Skeptoid did this one. I, I think so. Skeptic Zone did it. Skeptic Zone. And so what they did is the guy was sitting up, sitting like leaning against something. He had a cigarette on his collar that had burned out. He had his laundry marks ripped out of his clothing. He had no other identification. A coded um, message. A coded message was found. Well, he had a he had a a uh, piece of uh, one piece of paper torn out of a book with a poem on it that was from Pakistan, I believe. Yeah, it's the final page of the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam. Yeah, that was she said. And he had <laughs> um, some money in his pocket and some things like that. But anyway, so he was found there, no apparent way of sure of how he died. And that was 1948. Eight, I think, right? So anyway, huge, 
huge drama. Nobody knew who he was. So they thought he was a spy and a lot of other things. Then a man, so they went to the newspaper and they said, hey, we found this guy and we don't know who he is. So somebody said, I found in the back seat of my car that was parked at that beach, and I sometimes leave the windows open, the uh, a book of poetry, and the last page is ripped out. <laughs> and on the page that was found in the guy's pocket, there was a bunch of numbers, right? Am I right, Kyle? Yep. Bunch of numbers, code for something they thought they didn't know. And so why did this dire, this book of poetry end up in the backseat of somebody's car that was at the beach? And so there's been mysteries. People have been not been able to figure out who it was for, for years. And so somebody decided he was going to try to solve the case. He ends up, wait, what was it about the guy's last name? Oh, they get in, I think he had a ticket to go to, yeah. He had a ticket for a bag that was at a, a train station. Train I'm, I'm station. reading it right now. And they yeah. went and they opened it out. And inside there, I think there was a last name on a label of some clothes. And the last name was Kent or something like that. And I think there was a woman who lived a few blocks up whose last name, who was, had been married to a man with the same last name. And he Lois Lane? Huh? Lois Lane? No. <laughs> and he, he had disappeared or something. So a cop tried to solve the mystery. And he ends up, this cop ends up meeting up with a woman who lived up the street with the same last name's daughter. And he ends up falling in love with her and they get married. And that was kind of like this twist. So she thought it might be her stepdad or her father. You know, there was a whole drama about it. Anyway, fast forward to recently. And because of DNA, they were able to figure out who he is. And who is he? Somebody want to say? Uh, I can get you his name in a second. He's not a spy, though. It's a rather kind of banal is it an situation. Engineer? His yep. name is Carl Charles Webb, but they haven't confirmed it. And he likes poetry and he raced horses and he abandoned his wife. And she didn't know where he was and so i was gonna say that though when you said, talked about the things written on that piece of paper i was thinking that he was a bookie he was into horse racing and you know what mm -hmm. i'm getting this off of because i followed the story for a long time it's like a big mystery in australia and richard saunders when he was here and i were just talking about it i was kind of saying you know with all the dna that we can do now they should be able to get get this guy but anyway they put out pictures of him and there's pictures you can find of him right now where they make him look like he's kind of alive, <laughs> really kind of creepy. How was he? How did he die? I don't think they know. Still unknown. Yeah, probably won't be known. So he was, he was, he was just sitting like on the beach in the daylight, just sitting propped up against like the the pier things and the steps going down to the beach. He's just sitting there with a cigarette lit on his, or had been lit on his collar. And so without any labels or anything on his clothing and stuff, it looked like he was trying to hide his identity. It looked like he would, had been a spy because it was right after World War II and they didn't know what his nationality was. And then because the book was written in um, um, some sort of, well, like I said, it's a Pakistani book, right? So it was not written in English. So they were like, well, where is he from? Written in foreign. <laughs> foreign, <yeah. laughs> <laughs> 70 years and this is the best cover story they've got well it probably was translated in english it's the rubaiyat so it's one i don't of know what that things. is the rubaiyat, rubaiyat is a very time. accessible poem it's a very accessible yeah, yeah poem they said poetry. it was a popular book yeah but they the trunk of the car wife, is full of oreos <laughs> they, say, <laughs> they say here that his wife says that she he left her in april of 1947 and they think he may have been in the area to try to find her because she had tried to file for divorce because of abandonment. So that's exciting. I think the next one we're going to solve is a DB Cooper. Yeah, they have enough solved. evidence for DB Cooper left. I don't yeah. think there's any DNA for DB Cooper, is there? Nope. There yeah. were cigarette butts, but they were lost. Yeah. Mm. It was Elvis. <laughs> Actually, it was Elvis. It was Loki. 
Yeah. Uh, so there's another mystery in there's another mystery in Australia that is really, 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 really bad is the three little kids that were lost. Oh. Remember the the, yeah. I can't remember the last name? And yeah, so they had these three little children lost in the 50s, I think. The kids went down to the beach, which was common for you know, in Australia, there was no nothing crime or anything. And the kids were leaving the beach to come back home. They had money to take a bus back. And I think they went into one of the stores or something with some money and they thought it was odd because, you know, the mother's like, well, they didn't have enough money to go to the store. They had enough money to come home on the beach on the bus and they were never seen again. And mm. it was awful. And it just shut down Australia because that was, that was like Australia losing their innocence. Like, oh, we can't let our kids just wander around on their own anymore. And the kids were never found. And so they hired the psychic and from the Netherlands, I believe, and he came in and he had, he said that they were buried under a, in a warehouse and under the cement floor. And so they managed to get enough money to excavate and pulled up the floor in, in this warehouse in Australia and they didn't find him. So they've never found these kids and nobody knows what happened to him. So that's another mystery that's like waiting to be found. Ooh. Anyway. What year was that? 50s it could be the Bee Gees Gees. oh my god (laughs) so yeah so that's got a wikipedia page too as well so anyway on that okay well i will see you guys next week thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me thank you cindy i hope you had an okay time yeah i did i i um didn't quite catch on tonight but you know what? Please keep coming back. It's it's a social thing more than anything. And, out, and the more you come in, every almost everybody here started not knowing anybody. And after a while, you catch on to what's going on. And and the category will happen. I promise you. It will be your category. <laughs> and you will be the only one that knows anything about it. It happens all the time. The, the, the categories we've had in the past are so extreme that you never know when it be that is What's your, your background, Cindy? What's My your background? background? Um, I used to be a parole officer. Oh. And I was an English major. And I like photography. No, oh, there's some those some good sources. There's some categories in, there. Yeah, that, there's some categories right there. there for sure. I don't know about parole officer. I don't know if we had any categories that would be <laughs> remotely connected to parole officers, but photography and and uh, Texas, have we had Texas? You guys, as a category? Mm-hmm. I don't think we have. We tried. We've done a bunch of the states. But we I have not. Have I don't Texas. think we've done Texas. We've done. Um, have you been yeah. keeping your list of uh, previous ones up to date on Facebook, Susan? Yeah, it's right there on Facebook. So when we you go to the event, paste that, that the into link. something uh, that can search and just look for Texas. Yeah. yeah. So, so Cindy, you can go to the link that you, the Facebook page where you do to come in here. Yeah. If you click on more, it'll give you a list of all the categories we've ever had, ever done. Okay. And it, you'll see the randomness of it. And some of the just the most bizarre stuff. And some of them are just like, I love Lucy and the Susan Brink did bunch. yellow. I did yellow. Yeah. <laughs> I did the number two. I've done the, yeah. the number two. I, <laughs> I did, number did two. And everybody said it stunk like number two. No. <laughs> We've had everything in the room just about. So it, it just amazes me that there's still things that we can do. So I'm going to never run out. All yeah. right. See, and, see and Sherlock Holmes, we've done twice now. Yeah. See you guys next week. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. The video will be up in a few hours. Bye. Bye.